After all this time living in the city. Hello. Whoop. Um. Yeah, Discord's being lazy today. With a Discord bot or whatever. Well, we're going to be doing, um... Hey, Leaps. We're going to be doing some... Story quest. Not the Archon story. If you might notice, um... No. We have a blank spot here. That means we don't have the, uh... The battle pass or whatever. Um, which means we're very close to 3.1. We're next to... We're right before the next update. I think, like, literal day and a half left? Maybe a day left? We can check that right now. Um, 19 hours until 3.1 drops. Or at least that's when the... Maintenance will start, and that should take about five hours or whatever. And we'll have more Archon quests to go through, but for now... He serves no purpose whatsoever. Hmm. Huh. Thank you for telling me that I'm not moving enough. This quest right here, Tainari's story quest. I have uh, dailies here. I wouldn't worry about that. I'll, I'll do them soon enough. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go go do Gunderbaville. Yeah, Gunderbaville. Alright. Didn't even look at the map. So, uh where where are we at? Computer is still working after putting in the new RAM sticks. I don't even know if have I streamed since putting in the new RAM sticks? I don't know if I have. But new RAM sticks are in. Um so computer has been running and hasn't shut down or anything like that. So I think computer's done. And I'll say that for at least a month. And then around that time, either the new RAM sticks will be faulty and die after being working for a month, or they'll be fine and I won't have to worry about my computer for like another 10 years. Um, but I'm not too far away from sending the original RAM sticks back and getting that refund. The new ones seem to be working fine at the moment. I'm just, I, I am holding on to the old one just for a bit longer, just in case these ones give out on me. Had to shut, had to shut down Nova to save my processors. Yeah, it does. Let me actually look and see. I don't have it running right now, but I could. Not that I need to. I mean, it saved me CPU to have it running. That was something I definitely had turned off while I had only one RAM stick in. Is it, is it still thinking here? There it is. So how much um how much does that use? Not much compared to you know Genshin. Those. Wherever in this world I roam, I carry the memories of my home. This blade. It is the last link I have to the land of my birth. Hey, give me a sec. Yeah, this is Genshin related. ZF Game Browser. Is that the fucking... Is that the splash screen? Can I just... Can I turn that off without ending the game? Yeah. You. Go away. And it comes back up. So it has to be, like, running. ZF Game Browser. I have no idea what that is. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. I'm actually curious. While voice acting is happening, I'll be looking that up and listening at the same time. This is where you 
That's what? Keep your voice down. Watch another sick green headed child. There goes Discord, finally. Just in time for the story to actually start. Tainari, everything's spinning. Am I going to die? Jesus. Tell mom that I should have listened to her. And tell Suna that I'm sorry for breaking her toy. I didn't tell her because I was scared that she wouldn't play with me anymore. Tainari, I heard that people turn into birds after they die. Is that true? I feel like I'm getting lighter. What happened? Tainari, is he? Okay, okay, enough nonsense. You just have a small fever. Take your medication and rest. You'll be bouncing off the walls in no time. Really? Then can <coughs> you keep the thing about the toy a secret for now? No can do. You're a big kid now. Once you've recovered, go and apologize. Keeping secrets to yourself won't solve anything. Oh. Hey, let me ask you something. I recall that you're usually pretty healthy. How did you get this sick all of a sudden? I don't know either. Mom's been telling me not to play in the forest. I just wanted to look inside. Yara, I think that's Wally from Pokemon Ruby. Wally was sickly in the game too. Huh. I wonder if Yara is the, uh, the Chinese or Japanese name as well. Sometimes the names don't all line up. It's different from before. I got lost and went around in a huge circle. So ZF Game Browser is literally in the name. It's a third-party plugin for game developers that allow web browsing inside of a game. Oh! So whenever I, like, go to, like, the notifications in Genshin, and it opens up a little browser in the, uh, in the game, that's apparently, like, tied to a Unity asset that helps you... Okay. Well, at least I know what that is. I was like, it's Genshin related, but why can't I shut it down? And now we know. I'll even give an example. After I got out, I, I started feeling dizzy. One story is done. By the way, you posted some screenshots from Honkai and Discord to share the aesthetic, but I think they reused the Sakura tree in Genshin. They did. They did. There's a Sakura tree that's actually like somewhere you can turn in uh, collectibles to get rewards. Could it be? The contaminated region? Hmm. So that's how this whole mess happened. Anyway, go rest. No running around until I say so, got it? Traveler, Paimon, let's step out for now. Mr. Forest Watcher, how is my son? I see that the game still has like these hitches during cutscenes. Like these these voice acted cutscenes, like it'll there'll be a, a panning camera shot, and it'll uh like the sort of like bloop, lock up for just a second. I gave him some antipyretics. Let him rest here for a while. I told him that he would feel better after some medicine and rest, but I only said that to comfort him. Hmm. His symptoms resemble a fever, but something else is causing them. You're right they there. seem more akin to a disruption in his psyche. Antipyretics won't be of much use. So you're giving them sugar pills? What do we do? Mr. Forest Watcher, you have to help him. If memory serves, a plant called the Sunti grass can help soothe the mind. A small number grow in arid deserts. They usually look like shriveled weeds, but can be revitalized with a splash of water. They're expensive and unable to grow in the Avidya forest's climate. So I don't have any on hand. I'll ask the caravans. Go find Kale, have her prepare medicinal tools and a set of traveling gear for me. All right. Thank you. A tree in Genshin was a fox shape head on. Yeah. How crazy would it be if Mihoyu just came out and said, what if we just told you that Genshin came before Honkai on the timeline? Uh, what I'd have to ask is, is Honkai going to... Do you think it's actually going to stick around or is it going to be like a Genshin situation where once the game is done... Um, 
it'll probably be up for like maybe another year or two before they just say like, okay, we had our fun, shut down the servers. Like, because I can't imagine them actually keeping this game running once they're done, when the, once they're content complete. Like, they might have some, like, events they run, like, post-game, but I imagine it getting shut down similar to, uh, Dragalia. Contaminated region, huh? Is that why you two are also here? No, wait, there was a marker on the map, that's why we're here. Yep. Is it a new withering zone? Actually, there was something pre-streamed that I, I talked to Catherine, and she sent me towards Tainari. That's why we're here. Doesn't seem like one. Whether you look at scale, internal conditions, or resultant effects, they're completely different. I hope it'll stick around. There's so much emotions that went to the story and events. Exactly, that's how I feel about Genshin. And I guess that's how people felt about Dragalia, but it's got... It's getting the boot. Because it's taking up server space. Hopefully somebody, like... Like, archives it in some way? And just makes it playable for... Like, offline in some capacity. Because I feel, like, sad that somebody will put, like... Years of their life into making the game, and then people spend years playing it, and then... It just goes away. Like, good luck finding a full playthrough of Dragalia, because it was a fucking, uh... It was a mobile game. And not many people stream or record mobile games for the story. Genshin not included, because it has a PC version. This Fantasy Star University, yeah. The only thing they have in common is that they aren't welcome. This nuisance made itself home in the Avidya Forest, so I can't turn a blind eye. I hope they give the RuneScape treatment, because that shit deserves the archival servers. Well, RuneScape has, um, you can play RuneScape, RuneScape Classic, right? But then they also have, like, the updated new version of it. We feel the same way. All right. Let's contact the caravans first and purchase some Vasanti grass. We can also ask about the contaminated region. Because people would just need to play, pay a subscription, right, for RuneScape? New new RuneScape, I mean? I don't think they have to do anything for old. There's no time to waste. We have to move quickly. Let's go. Or maybe it's just one type per- I have, I have no idea, actually, how they do money for that game. Oh, we're not gonna get any talking, we're interrupting, right? Okay, so this thing right here, like when you go to this, and you were to, like, click something in here, Um, I'm actually like looking for a, a thing to click on. Um, unless this is it. This is going to be the new area coming up. The desert region. We're not getting the card game for another couple updates, which I'm a little disappointed by, but we're at least getting stuff about it. Yeah, click here to listen to Footprints of the Travel. Like, if I click this, it opens a web browser, so... No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that! Okay. But that's what that ZF launcher is. Wherever in this world I roam. Go to Sumeru City. Old RuneScape is free, not sure about new. I think there is either a one-time purchase or a small subscription fee for New RuneScape. But yeah, just having old servers up and running, because I guarantee there's a huge chunk of people that play old RuneScape. Excuse and just that. I'd like to purchase some Vasanti grass. Do you have any? I was just robbed by bandits outside the city. All my Vasanti grass specifically is gone. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Forest Watcher, but we've been closed for the past few days. Because... Closed? Now that's odd. It's my first time hearing you say something like that. Uh, it's a long story. Some oh. of our goods were stolen recently. My god. I actually called what this storyline is. They were mechanical parts that we got from the academia. <laughs> Although they're old models, they still fetch a good price on the market. I mean, what what else does a merchant have to be depressed about, about other than having their things stolen? So I saw this merchant hunched over. I was like, he probably had, he had stuff stolen from him. 
and we gotta go get the stuff back. <laughs> Our caravans had to pull together Mora to afford those parts. Uh, now that they've been lost, we'll likely come up short this trip. I hate you for this so much. I don't know. I, it feels like that's where it was like the set. I don't know. I saw it and I was, that's what I All guessed. The talked it over and we decided to raise the prices of our remaining inventory. Until this plan takes effect, none of us can privately sell anything. I don't get it. If these goods are so important, then why not think of a way to get them back? Raising prices won't solve anything. At best, you're shoving the consequences of the robbery onto your customers. Mm -hmm. Mr. Forest Watcher, it's not that we don't want to. It's just the thief disappeared into the deepest parts of the forest. We asked around, and apparently the forest has been very unusual as of late. Anyone who goes in experiences mental anomalies. R and R's. We can't keep waiting out here for the thief to come out. All we could do is come up with another solution. So the bandit hid in the contaminated region after stealing those mechanical parts. How many people were there in total? Were they not affected by the contaminated region? That crook came from the contaminated region. As for how many, uh, there weren't any people. No people? Uh, even if I tell you, you might not believe me. Uh, oh, fine. The thief that stole our parts was a huge mechanical crab. Crab? What the heck? The Avidia Forest has creatures like that? Is it that? Is it that crab? Didn't see any in the Avidia Forest field guide. Uh, to be honest, I'd rather not think about it. It moved too skillfully to be new at this. It came out of nowhere. Before we could react, it swiped our goods and ran away. We were all shocked. By the time we came to our senses, the thief was already long gone. I see. If we help you retrieve your stolen goods, then business will return to normal? Oh, but of course! Uh, not only that, but you'll become one of our caravan's VIPs on all future purchases of any- Enough. <laughs> Tell me something that's actually useful. Any leads on that mechanical crab? Maybe one. After our goods were stolen, we specifically got someone to assess the situation. If you're interested, you can go and talk to them. All right. We'll go and have a word. Um. Okay. After the goods were stolen, I made multiple inquiries with nearby caravans and residents. It turns out that many others have also been robbed by that crooked crab. Crap. However, the crab only seems to be interested in Whoa. machinery. It doesn't even bat an eye at other valuables. <laughs> that, that bird was coming in for a landing, but kids were there. A caravan carrying a large amount of more had an uneventful trip, but another caravan had a child whose metal toy was taken. Whatever the case, that thing is a scourge. We'll eventually think of a way to get rid of it. Those neighbors were not making any noise until now. Abdo! That mechanical crab is fast, strong, and a pain to deal with. Claws can rip a tank in two. Ten of us might not even be able to take that thing head on. Didn't academia ban research on mechanical life forms years ago? Where did that thing come from? Our salaries even got slashed because of it. Ugh. Who would have thought that that robber wasn't a human, but a mechanical crab? This is rough. I heard from the caravanners that there have been a lot of robberies lately, but we haven't been affected. We don't normally see the mechanical crab, and it doesn't disturb our daily lives. It only shows up when the caravans are here, and it runs back to the contaminated region after it's done making a mess. You haven't tried capturing it? We have, but it's too agile and fast. However, we did unexpectedly learn something the last time we tried to capture it. It apparently lives in the deepest part of the forest, so, instead of immediately moving its spoils, it first hides them nearby. Once its stash grows large enough, it moves everything in one go. You'll have to move fast if you want those goods back. Hmm. How 
our things. Did you make any progress? We learned of its behaviors, but much still remains unclear. Assuming normal operational status, mechanical constructs generally act according to their given commands. If I were its owner, I'd command it to steal more valuable things. Or the mora you made. That would be the most efficient method. But it only goes after mechanical components. This doesn't make any sense. Right. It's really weird. So you all found a way to retrieve our goods? Do you have any more mechanical parts with you? Yes, I still have a small bag of samples. They weren't taken since I keep them on me at all times. Oh, are you planning to... We need bait. Under constant external conditions, organisms rarely initiate changes in their habits. Here's what we know so far. It has a mechanical composition, it lives in the contaminated region, and it comes out to steal mechanical components. If we have said components, we can lure it out, capture it, and then make observations for further conclusions. Or at the very least, follow it back to where it lives. Mm, well, chatting like this won't get us anywhere. We're only wasting time. You're right. We don't have any other options right now. This bag of samples is all yours, Mr. Forest Watcher. Why does if you get our goods back, the caravans <laughs> will reward you generously. Why does Tainari look like a Furby? Ah... <laughs> uh... Like, if you cut off the shoulders. Yeah, if you just cut off right at the neck. And it's just the head and the ears, yeah. I don't need anything in return, but I'll be keeping this bag. I may have other uses for it later. We'll also need to borrow a Sumter Beast. Our act has to be convincing if we want the crab to fall for it. Oh, yeah. No problem at all. If it means getting our things back, you can even borrow me to do whatever you need. <laughs> I'll have to decline that <laughs> offer. Anyway, we'll use the mechanical components and Sumter Beast to pose as a transiting caravan and lure out the crab. Once it appears, capture it. I leave the timing to you. Don't worry, we're professionals. Wait, so we're not killing the crab, we're capturing it. Yeah, look at those load times. There is no oh. escape. One with nature. What the fuck? It's been a while since I had a thunderstorm in the game. This is really quite tame. Is this story related? Give me one sec. I was I was going to glide down here, but now I can't trust that um, I won't get struck by lightning. Give me one sec. Sorry, you just missed uh, our version of Thunder, which is uh, neighbors dropping something really loudly on the floor above us. Okay, now I, I should have waited for the mic to calm down. Okay, um, 
Yeah, Sapphire is really not liking the Furby <laughs> Tainori stuff. <laughs> um... There are leaves around, and I know just the tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. All right. I really hope Kazuha just didn't just the die. The trade routes and the contaminated region's current perimeter, the goods were likely stolen somewhere around here. Then let's get to it. We'll definitely capture that criminal crab. Okay. We'll start from here and have the Sumter Beast with the components on board lead the way. He also sounds like Otacon. This Sumter Beast isn't familiar with us yet, so be calm and take your time with it. A little bit. The yeah, there's that fucking damage. See Kazuha's fucking damage? Okay, fully healed. Well, there goes the storm. Well, I have to be like right next to it. Uh, why did it stop? Hmm. Looks like it's loafing around. Or maybe it's hungry. The caravanners grew disheartened after their goods were stolen, so they probably didn't feed their animals as scheduled. Let's give it something to eat. Oh, motivated. <gasps> Kolilu? Uh, did you hear something? Kolu! Ah! Is that the mechanical crab the caravan was talking about? It's charging straight at us! It looks strong. Be careful! The so dubbed component thief. Shine down into the wind. Fus Gully. Hey, burning gum won't save you. Spill it. Why are you stealing so many mechanical parts? It doesn't seem to understand us. Hmm, it doesn't seem capable of comprehending complex questions. Keep an eye on it. I'll search around the area for the caravan's goods. I already found the goods that the mechanical crab stole. I don't know why you're stealing mechanical parts, but they don't belong to you. Stolen items must be returned to their rightful owners. Any objections? Well, in his eyes, they're salvaged from his kind. It looks sad. You came from the depths of the contaminated region, right? How about you help us with something? If you take us there, I'll give you some mechanical parts as a reward. Guru! It reacted! Crap is baby. Does it understand us? Hmm, we can't be certain yet. Its excitement may be a simple programmed response upon seeing mechanical components. Okay, so you want the crab to lead us into the contaminated region? That's right. The contaminated region has a large and currently expanding perimeter, so it would be difficult to conduct a thorough search. If we charge straight in, we'll get lost like headless pigeons. Also, our new friend here seems to be full of secrets. I've been studying this contaminated region recently, and I have a hypothesis of my own. So to be absolutely safe, it would be best to have a guide lead the way. Hyman gets it now. Um, does this scuttler understand what you're saying? It doesn't have to, as long as it isn't hostile towards us. Gotta shade the sideburns up, BRB. I gave it some components that it will definitely take back to the contaminated region. So long as it doesn't attack us, we can simply follow along. It seems to be really happy. Listen to me. Wait for us here. No running off. We'll be back soon. If you're still here when we return, I'll give you another mechanical part as a reward. Understood? 
Does that count as understanding us? I'm not sure. But our priorities are to retrieve the mechanical components and to purchase Vasanti grass to make medicine with. We should return. But before we do, we need to set up a few traps. Can't have that crab escaping. Crab. Um. Oh, they did the trap setting off screen. Gotcha. I was like, what do you need me to do? It looks like it's already set. them back for us holy shit this i don't know if we can look this guy up but he sounds like rigby from a <laughs> from regular show the raccoon oh, thank you all so very much i don't know how i can repay you wait didn't you want to purchase Vasanti grass uh, don't worry about the price they're on the house how many do you need two is enough uh-huh no that won't do here I'll throw in some more. No need. I've already received a reward from you. Reward? You mean that bag of mechanical parts? Ah, they aren't worth much compared to this merchandise. But those parts are very useful to me. Just like the Vasanti grass. I retrieved the things you needed, and you gave me what I needed in return. We're even. <laughs> right, that guy was Hoffman and... Back for blood. Oh, and before we go, just a reminder. The forest has an intricate and biodiverse ecosystem. Even if there were no mechanical crabs, other dangers are still present. Take caution on this route. He was also o Dr. Octopus at the Spider-Man games. Noted. Thank you all ever so much. Let's return to the village. The earlier we can give the child medicine, the sooner he'll start feeling better. Mm, give me a sec. I'm very curious about this. Yeah, I don't think this is going to credit this one person. Usually the voice actors have to, like, say, Oh, I was this NPC! Because I know that, like, Sung Won is some NPCs, but he's not, like... I don't think he's fully credited anywhere. For doing those voice roles. <laughs> uh, what's this? What are these guys doing here? Is this another world quest? Ha! Friends! How nice to see someone alive in this dump! Hi, call me Lunja of the Farokzdan. 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 Even though technically I'm Farokdokt. Ha ha! These are my boys! <laughs> Menum. Ziri. Very good, very upbeat. As you can see, me and the boys are welcome here. Please help yourself to a hot meal. Um, right, Minim? Ziri? Hmm. Uh, Miss Lunja, they don't look very enthusiastic. Uh, show some enthusiasm, boys! <sighs> Welcome, strangers. My apologies, they're from the desert and haven't gotten used to the rainforest. It's human stuffy. You can wring water out of, their, out of your shirt, pants, and bandana. It's such a mess after every fight. Probably know we have 3,000 terms to classify sand and tens of thousands of ways to deal with it. But moisture in plants? I'm out. They make me uncomfortable the whole time, and I feel like I'll never be able to deal with them. That's enough of my nagging. Job comes first. Too much complaining hurts morale. After all, life is life, but business is still business, right? Hey, Chrono. Paimon thinks we just ran into a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> they are weird. We should leave as soon as we can. 
Ma'am, excuse me, but I didn't get your names. Where did you come from and what are you doing here? Just call me Chrono. Paimon's name is Paimon. We're here to... We're adventurers just passing by. Is that so? What could be in this rainforest that's worth risking your lives for? That is classified information. It depends on what we'll find. Ha! You adventurers are such interesting people. May the gale and sand never blind you and may you find what you seek. We don't mean to interrupt, boss, but... It's time we get going. Hmm. Alright. Well, you've got to run, my friends. Sorry we can't extend our hospitality. Once we part, you're on your own. Without the desert folk watching your back, you'd better keep an eye out for wild beasts. Savage jungle is just like desert. In the desert, where you, when you leave your tribe, you're on your own. You'll be an easy prey for hungry beasts. Is that a threat? A threat? Why would I threaten my friends? It's just a kind reminder. What do you think I am? How irritating. Come, Minun, Ziri, let's go. Wait. The pot. Just leave it there for our new friends. Let's go. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know what I stumbled onto. These guys are weird. So eager to get chummy. You better be careful. Yes, yes, you should be careful. Well, since you both say so... <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, it's an Nara Nara. Hey, you startled me. That's Paimon's line. Hmm, speaking of which, little one, who are you? Aranikin isn't the little one. Aranikin is an <laughs> is Aranikin. Aranikin. You can't listen to those sand grains. They're liars with bad minds who are here to st here for the Aranara. Bad minds? What are the sand grains you're talking about? Sand is Veluca, and those gr sand grains are a group that are bad Nara Veluca. I don't like sand. It's coarse, rough, and irritating, and it gets everywhere. Holy fucking shit. Are we serious right now? Are we serious right now? Because it doesn't look like we're serious. He's His name is actually... I hate sand. It's coarse, rough, dear thing. Gets everywhere. I cannot believe that they made the sand reference from Star Wars and named this guy Aranikin. What? Paimon didn't get that at all. White Floaty is silly, so White Floaty didn't get it. What? Hey! He's talking about those people from just now. They must have some sort of scheme. Nah, Chrono's smart. That's what Aranikin means. Huh? You know our names? Aranikin's smart. When you talk to them, I listened. I heard that Nara's name is Chrono, and that your name is Paimon. But Floaty Paimon is silly and doesn't understand Aranikin. Floaty Paimon is like that. It's true. <laughs> hey, Paimon's not silly! First, we need to find Zoro Mushroom. Zora Mushroom is little shiny spots, just like my songs. But to find Zora Mushroom, you need Kusava. Um, that's fine. You guys are great. Aranikin can entrust Kusava to you. It comes again. Things Paimon can't understand. Kusawa? What is that? Fatty fruit. Bitter fruit. Temporary home of Aranara memories. Kusava makes Aranara strong. Matimi... Matiyama? Matiyama. Nope. <laughs> it's feeling sick. Marana is getting bigger. We must go. Quickly. Quickly. Wait a sec. We don't even know where we're going. Zora Mushroom. We need to... Zora Mushroom to prepare Arahoma. We need Ar Arahoma to help Mautima be lively again. I know where Zora Mushroom is. I take you there. This game is a coward for not doing voice acting for this. All right. Hey, wait for us. So I stumbled on a different r, &R quest? Yes, I stum stumbled on a separate r, &R quest. A ramekin. Let's continue Tainari's thing. Oh, 
Traveler and Paimon. Sorry, we get sidetracked by a Rannigan. Master, I prepared the pharmaceutical equipment. Do you need me to help grind the medicine? No need. A precise dosage is required this time, so I'll do it myself. Oh, okay. But once I'm done, you can deliver the medication to the child. He gets a little nervous when I'm around for too long. I don't think he finds me very approachable. I'll go prepare the medication. Traveler, give me a hand. Do you tell an hour, but I'm not going to yell at Feeling any better? <sighs> I feel like he's doing a lot better, and his temperature is returning to normal. That's wonderful! Oh, yeah. He asked me to tell you that Suna came by earlier, and he told her everything about the toy. Ow! Suna didn't get mad, so he wanted to thank you. Uh, can I ask what happened? It's nothing. Did you prepare the traveling gear I asked you to? Of course I did. Are you going somewhere far away? Yes, we're going to the contaminated region. Judging by its size, we will likely have to stay overnight. I'm leaving everything to you while I'm gone. to compare to you many things are learned by doing and once they've been done you'll realize they weren't as difficult as you once thought they were deal with problems as you yourself see fit you don't have to emulate me that's right you'll do great Kale. just don't burn the house down haha <laughs> all right then i'll do my best master traveler paimon take care of yourselves don't worry everything will be fine with tainari around you put too much confidence in me. Anyway, like you said, things will likely be uneventful. Let's return and find that crab. Let's return and find that crab. Time to find that crab. Okay, so as not to kill Kazaha, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, they did it again. Did it secretly scuttle away? Huh. The traps weren't triggered. So it should still be here. Odd. Coolie. Golu! It's here! You honored our agreement and waited here until we returned. As such, I'll hold up my end and give you another mechanical part. Keep it safe. I'm not giving you another one if you lose it. Cool. Glad you're satisfied. If you want more mechanical parts, take us deeper into the contaminated region. I want to see what happened there. What caused the Avidya forest to become like this? So now we follow Crab? Sorry, did I miss where I needed to... What, oh, these flowers, maybe? So this is the contaminated okay. region that everyone's been talking about. Oh, it definitely looks different from normal. I'm not seeing it. It's like... really creepy and suffocating. Do you feel unwell at all? Doing fine so far. Good. It's as I predicted. Elemental power confers a degree of resistance against the contaminated region's influence. How do you know that? I haven't entered the contaminated region for a proper investigation, but I've conducted quite a few controlled experiments. My observations during our time here have all but confirmed my hypothesis. Look at these flowers. How are they different from normal? They glow? They're brighter? This flower species is formally known as the Sumeru Rose, but it is also known as the Ley Line Lodestar. They're sensitive to ley lines and emit varying amounts of light in response. Excessive brightness indicates a dangerous level of ley line activity in the surrounding area. 
From the looks of things, the ley lines around here are already out of control. You're saying the contamination here is coming from ley lines? I can't confirm that right now, but I think that is the case. Let's take another look around and see if we can discover more clues. Strain Sumero Rose. Yoink. Oh yeah, the the flower was the reason we had to be there. Yoink. You know, we haven't seen any animals this entire time. The birds used to chirp really loudly, and there were a lot of foxes. This contaminated region currently appears to have a critical efflux of ley line energy, which is probably the root cause of the patient's cognitive disturbances. Some animals have keen awareness. They sensed something abnormal in this area and fled. Leaky ley line sure can cause a lot of damage, huh? Like how plants have preferred Welcome back, leaps. conditions, we also gradually habituate to our surrounding environment. Climate, temperature, humidity, intensity of ley line energies. When people live under fixed conditions, they reach a sort of homeostasis with their environment. This equilibrium is broken when the surrounding environment abruptly changes, causing people's bodies to react in abnormal ways. If normal fluctuations in temperature occur, then our bodies automatically adjust. However, the average person cannot adapt to changes in ley line energy, and so they fall ill. I see. Then why are we okay? Yeah, why is Paimon okay, I should ask? I'm not sure why you are, but she and I are fine because our elemental capabilities allow us to adapt to this kind of change. Exactly. Call her out. Paimon, why are you okay? Of course, it's not a good idea to spend too much time in areas with concentrated ley line energy. The only one who can freely traverse this place is probably the mechanical crab. Hello. That's about it for the investigation. Help me find an open space. I want to test something. Spoilers? Possibly a new element we don't have, like space or some shit. I don't know. She is, like, giving off some sort of, like, like, constellation energy all the time. The closest thing I've seen to that is Mona's, um... Water scrying. Void element, maybe. Environment, no wind. Target parameters, normal. So if there was a void element, do you think there's like a light element or something like that? Setup complete. Excellent. Looks like it's working. What's this? A purification device that I made. It can absorb excess ley line energy and temporarily stabilize an area. What a neat thing! Let's set up more and cover the entire region! Probably is only one. I wouldn't mind if that would actually work. Unfortunately, once this contamination is present, it isn't something that a few purification devices can fix. The purification devices have their limits. At best, they can only prevent the contaminated region from expanding temporarily. If we want to permanently eradicate the contamination from the ley line effluence, we'll need to tackle the source. At the heart of the contaminated region? That's right. Huh? The mechanical crab is acting a little strange. Something's approaching. Oh. So that's it. Gators. Now that the ley line energy has stabilized, the monsters that had left are starting to return. Get rid of them quickly. Don't let them get close to the purification device. Kill the animals that return. Nature is healing. Kill nature. <laughs> Shine down. Let's light it up. Whew. That's all of them. Koru. Is he going to say hi to his squid friends over there? Hey! Where are you? <laughs> where are you? I can't see past this pillar. Let's hurry and keep up. <laughs> the mechanical crab went that way. Let's keep up. 
Help! Help! The wind knows it. Shine down! Get out of here! Into the wind! I don't feel like using my burst on these guys. Well, let me touch your knee. These injuries are superficial. Don't move. I'll patch you up. <laughs> Who are you all? What happened to those mechanical monsters? You're not talking about the pillar? Am I going to get the pillar picks? <laughs> pillar men. <laughs> I showed you my pillar. Answer me. Oh, good. <laughs> That's uh, good. Kolu. Uh, it's a monster! Uh, hurry, attack it! Kolu. How do we explain this? Uh, Krabby here isn't a bad guy. It heard you shouting for help and brought us here to rescue you. It's faking it. <laughs> it has to be. Maybe it's going to partner up with the other mechanical monsters and kill me. This one seems to be differently colored, almost like, maybe, like the mechanical devices that are in the desert portion of Sumeru. Do you know what's inside the forest? It's all, it's, it's all crawling with mechanical freaks. Freaks, I say. I just came here to pick herbs, but I accidentally went to the contaminated region and almost died. Hmm. I gotta get out of here. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> I have to escape. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> These mechanical life forms are up to no good. It'd be best if you stayed far, far away from them. Uh, no wonder the Academia wanted to completely ban the existence of mechanical life forms. Uh, those things should be annihilated. His inarticulate speech and bodily tremors indicate psyche disruption. He's been inside the contaminated region for too long. We've purified the ley line energy over there. Follow this path out and you'll soon see the village. At that point, someone will bring him to Kale for help. I already prepared medication that will return him to normal. Maybe you should tell him to get... Yeah, whatever. Goru! Look like it's expecting something? Hmm. So you think you did a good job and want a part as your reward? Hmm. Koru. It's so hard to understand. All right, regardless of what you're thinking, you did some real good this time. That's why I'll give you another mechanical part. Need any help with it? Kalu kalu. Guess not. Well, make sure to hang on to it. What was going through your owner's mind when Jesus he made Christ. you, I wonder? You're like a giant mechanical crab on the outside and a fluffy little hamster on the inside. And also, how do you feel about that person saying that you're as evil as the other mechanical life forms? Kulilu? Okay, it definitely doesn't understand you. <laughs> It seems like it possesses limited understanding only towards matters related to mechanical components. Help others to get parts. That's probably its thought process. As for why it, or rather its owner, is collecting so many components, I'm not sure. Well, it's helping you for parts because it knows that you're giving him parts for doing things. He was stealing parts before, which isn't really helping others. It's getting late. So let's set up camp for the night. We'll explore further tomorrow, after a night's rest. Fluffy little hamster. It reminds me of, um, you know, in Overwatch, the hamster that rides in a fucking mech ball that turns into like a crab creature when it's walking around. Remember that, that late introduced character? We stopped playing before that character was introduced. 
I can't even remember the the name of the character. Wrecking Ball or something like that. Hey, over here. Come on, you big lummox. Raise your head and look up. Big lummox? You're talking to the traveler? She's neither big nor a lummox. <laughs> Let's set up camp here. Oh. Maybe she maybe he was talking to the crab. <laughs> but we were also not able to find where he went. Oh. Any particular reason? This place is perfect to put up a big tent. We can also set up a cooking pot and cook tons of delicious food. A very Paimon reason. You're not wrong. But the primary reason for choosing this place is because its higher elevation keeps us away from the water vapor below. Rainforests are very wet. You should always be careful when spending the night in damp places. It'll sink. For the next tasks at hand, let's divide and conquer. I'll set up the tent, you'll be in charge of making the fire, and Paimon will forage for edibles nearby. Edibles. We. Oui. Leave it to Paimon. Paimon's a pro. At weed. I'm not expecting that much. Just do what you can. Still find it funny how Overwatch is shutting down their servers before promised TF2 shutdown. Yeah, um, that's crazy. Like, the, the 3DS still isn't shut down yet. If the Tainari's guidance, you safely that's start a fire. Right. You can use rushes to start a fire in the wilderness. Rushes? Their pits are relatively dry and can be readily set aflame. The downside is that they produce a lot of smoke. <laughs> Traveler, Tainari, Paimon couldn't find any food. Paimon didn't know that Rainforest had so many interesting plants until we came here. There were all sort of weird looking mushrooms, but Paimon didn't know which ones were edible. Paimon also saw wild berries on the ground. And Paimon was going to fly over and pick them up, but the dead leaves on top suddenly started moving. It freaked Paimon out. Those were probably dead leaf butterflies. They camouflage as dead leaves to evade predators. My guess is that they mistook you for a bird when you flew over, <laughs> so they fled. Little did they know that you were more scared than they were. Never mind, but tense up, so you two go rest. I'll forage for food. Oh, looks like the crab already did it. Oh, you found some already. You have my gratitude. It's more useful than Paimon. Paimon understands it this time. It wants mechanical parts again. Sorry, no part this time. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> Is it important enough? If every little thing resulted in a reward, then it might start to take advantage of the system. I'll note little things like this and give a cumulative reward at a later time. Are you running low on parts? Um, that is one reason. I was gonna say, Gooly is fucking dead. It looks really sad. After some further thought, it might come up with some weird misunderstanding if I don't give it something. All right, here's another for you. <laughs> She's been a little less screechy. He's <laughs> kind of starting to feel bad for her. Guru. I'm off to prepare dinner. We'll take shifts on lookout duty tonight. You two can sleep first. I'll wake you up later. We need lookouts? Yes. Even though most animals fled because of the ley lines, we can't completely let down our guard. It's settled then. I'll set up some pest repelling devices so poisonous insects don't come crawling into the tent. Have a good night. Not too good, though. What is that supposed to mean? The hell is that supposed to mean? Hmm? You're still awake. Hmm? You're still. Not too good, though. He's being funny. Yeah, you don't sleep too good. 
rest. Hyman's getting sleepy. Uh, is this because of the ley lines? Or maybe there's something in this herbal thing he's got set up. It's been a while since we camped outside like this. <laughs> this feels like when we just started adventuring together. Paimon gradually falls asleep while reminiscing. Hmm? You're awake earlier than I expected. Did you sleep well? Still a little sleepy. You have to maintain constant vigilance in dangerous places like this. Yawning all the time like that is no good. If you can't stay awake, it's okay. Go sleep some more. I'm not tired yet. I can manage. Really? You don't need to push yourself. I'm used to staying up all night because many plant and animal species can only be observed during nighttime. Speaking <clears throat> of which, have you seen the crab? Crab's probably off trying to find something useful. It was scampering around over there just now, but I don't know where it went. Are you wary of it? So you can tell. My suspicion is less towards the crab and more directed to its unrevealed owner. A ley line effluence of this magnitude occurred without any warning. Someone probably disrupted the natural flow of the ley lines. Until we fully understand the situation, take extra <laughs> caution. The academia has banned mechanical life form research for years, so the origin of these creatures is very suspect. You can both stay awake in the tent, Tainori. And have a, a good night. <laughs> Banned research. The academic previously conducted research on mechanical life forms. Mechanical life form? Demon Furby Tainari. Topics related to mechanical life forms <laughs> were popular in the Spontama <laughs> for a time. Some of my juniors had also thrown themselves into such research. Spampton. They proposed an intriguing idea. Use our knowledge to create a new and practical life form that could help humanity conquer nature. However, no matter which modules or parts are installed, a machine is innately a construct that receives and executes <laughs> commands. They can never possess self-awareness like us or other living organisms. I saw the word Spanton mod and I was like, big chat? In their pursuit to discover the differences between mechanical and biological life forms, <laughs> zealous researchers performed unregulated vivisections and other absurdly cruel experiments on animals. Research on mechanical life forms was thus banned. Yeah, I don't know anything about Spampton other than that he's in uh, Deltarune. He talks like uh, a troll from uh, Homestuck. He has like a, a quirk with the, the brackets and uh, that's about it. Now he's probably a bad guy. You have to fight him at some point. That's it. <laughs> that's all I know. The irony is that the researchers became even more impetuous afterward. Who knows? Maybe this subject will be unbanned in a few years. Like porn on Tumblr. Making a comeback apparently. Do you not like this area of research? Hmm. Oh, no. That's a difficult <laughs> question to answer. I'm not wrong. I'm interested in the topic of mechanical life, but I don't like the researchers' attitudes. Anything in particular, or because the conquest of nature is bad? It's just my personal opinion. My ancestors and the Veluka Shuna of the desert coexisted together and supported one another. The blood of my people were born from this symbiotic relationship. So to me, all life is important. To understand life, you must first respect it. By first killing it the first time you see it, like those, uh, those crocodiles. Life is not an expendable commodity, and knowledge should not be wielded like a scepter. These are the points of contention I have with some researchers, and why I left the academia. By placing yourself above other life forms, what kind of results do you expect to get from researching pure life with impure intentions? I understand what you mean. Really? Well, I'm glad to hear it. Holy. 
Golo. Coffee? Did you prepare this for us? Golo. It looks like it's it wants a reward again. All right. Seeing that you're working so hard to help out, I'll give you another part. You're not planning on using it. Many of your own parts are critically degraded, and you're running low on power. Kalukulo. All right. Suit yourself. Oh, and thanks for the coffee, but I'm about to go to sleep. Leave it with her. The night watch is yours. Stay safe. Where'd you get the coffee? Where'd you get them beans? I don't see any coffee beans around here. In fact, coffee's not even a thing you can make in the game. You think it would like up stamina or something? Paimon slept through the entire night. I was actually like in the shape of a cube. It's okay. Your punishment is solo watch duty. <laughs> Good morning, Traveler and Paimon. Mm, quick question. Do you feel off at all? I'm a little dizzy. Mm, me too. The farther in we go, the closer we get to the source of the ley line effluence. We'll be heading out earlier today. I'll take down the tent. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to set up camp 10 meters into the place that starts messing with people's minds. And maybe we should have camped outside and... Just walk the 10 meters again. You know, to play it safe. Is there something we can do? We did, like, walk for maybe a minute before setting up camp. Extinguish our fire so we don't set the entire forest aflame. Also, retrieve the pest repelling devices from last night. We don't want to affect the ecosystem here. Got it! Hi, Mom will take care of the fire! I'll retrieve the pest repelling devices. All right. Let's meet back here later. Can I have some of these for, like, real life? Oh, I could have talked to Paimon there. All right. It's about time to head out. As we go further in, we may encounter more Berserk machines. The effects of the ley lines will also increase. If you're struggling, it would be wise to avoid conflict. Try to conserve as much energy as possible until we reach the source of the contamination. Steal Tainari's key tea kettle. <laughs> I think I'm up too high. Closer we get to the contamination source. Oh, we're all fully healed from the nice rest. Monsters that appear. Illusion shattered. The wind knows me. Shh, don't want to make too much noise. Shine down. Solidify into the wind. Okay, you wanted to pop up out of nowhere. Illusion shattered. Out of the way. Shine down. Oh, another one. All right. I'm going in. Order guide you. As one with wind and cloud. The wind knows me. Gather. What was that about conserving? I'm thinking that that would be a fun contest prize, a tea box with a recipe for Tainari's special blend tea. 
Yeah, I'm sure that, like, you could make a full Genshin restaurant out of all the recipes they have in the game. Golly. Golu! It stopped here! Upon closer inspection, the plants here are really different. Leyline energies are also stronger here. This may be the place we've been looking for. Could it be a dungeon? Ready yourselves. We're going in. Taking these strange Sumeru roses, though. Don't know if I'll be running into these any other time. Or after we, we solve this problem, if they'll just be around or not. It's a withering zone over there, I think. Maybe. Recommended level 90. Sure. So the rest of these pieces would be difficult, if anything, because the real, real world equivalent is maybe poisonous or non existent. Ah, I think um, most. Oh, that's cool. I think most of this food is doable. It's like fish and peppers, just rice and meats. Vegetables. I don't know if there's anything here that actually has like poisonous ingredients involved. Tofu, calamari. Like maybe the potions would be pushing it. Squirrel dish? Uh, they call it squirrel fish. Um, it's made, it's, it's fish, but it's got like, um, it's like breaded. Kind of like a, think of a blue and onion, but it's a fish. Bennett's dish? You mean the egg? His egg is this one, Tavat charred egg. Single fried egg. <laughs> Burnt with crisp on the edges. Most dishes are based Don't on real code. to make mistakes. It's all part of a learning process. There's a ton of mechanical monsters here. They made this place their lair. Looks like there's no way to sneak by. Let's take. Oh, he does have a double charge. <laughs> right, and then his elemental skill makes that charge immediately. Can't see. Right, they become confused in the thing. Let's try to use them properly now. One with nature. Let's nip that in the butt. Teamwork is Let's sniff that in the butt. Is what um, people say that sounds like. Purple dish that kills anyone who eats it? Um, maybe Raiden Shogun is not allowed to cook. I don't even know which one that is actually, unless it was happened during his story hangout or something. I can't remember. Never seen the machine like this before. Leyline energy is spilling out from here. This device, it's extracting energy from the ley lines without end. It was in his story. Oh, who in Can't remember the world it. would do this without considering the consequences? The ley lines won't be able to repair themselves if their flow is perpetually disrupted like this. That's terrible! We have to stop it! Oh, uh, Paimon C. Uh, oh, Paimon doesn't seek and choose anywhere! 
starting to get dizzy. Standing here is equivalent to being directly showered in ley line energy, which may cause irreversible damage to your body. Take Paimon and get out of here. I'll see if I can find a way to turn this thing off. Wait, you're also vulnerable to the ley lines, right? We're staying. We can't leave you here by yourself. Then let's look for it together. If there is no control unit here, then there must be a trap door somewhere. Trap door? Golu. Garu Galu. He ate it and got sick. Oh right, we fed that dish to that dude. And uh, and he died <laughs> in one of the endings, right? You know where it is? Hey! We it! Illusory walls. Hey, a chest. Wait a minute, is this one of them musical doors? What's this? It'll only show up if you step on it? Be careful and watch your step. It's the owner of the machine. Look, someone's here. Are you the one that's taking the ley lines energy? Turn off that machine now. Why aren't you saying anything? Too ashamed? Too dead? His body is cold. Uh oh. It's emaciated, and his eyes are sunken, likely from chronic malnourishment and stress. He collapsed and never got back up. What exactly happened here? Oh, almost forgot about you. Here, this is the last one. Kalu, Kalu. What is it doing? Hmm, I'm not sure. Judging by this room's layout, this place was a laboratory. We should find a repository of research documents if we keep going. The file room will definitely give us some clues, so let's go take a look. Maybe we can piece together what happened here. <laughs> Sorry, but his leg up on the thing and it... You know, it reminds me of like a high school coach putting his like leg up on a chair like, All right, let me tell you about uh, football. Football is... Well, stupid. Mechanical crap stands in front of the machine as if it's thinking about something. I'm gonna tell you about a little game called Foosball. It's a table with some spinny guys. This place is a natural hiding spot with how hidden it is. The pipes continue further. Let's head in. Whoa. Did you two find anything? <gasps> found a dead... Oh, you mean after the dead guy. No. There are a lot of lab notes, but it would take way too long to read through them all. I found a tape recording used for an experiment, and based on its serial number, it's from two years ago. Tape recording? Yes, the Spontama created a device that mm. visually records experiments and consolidates the final production into a tape. However, these devices are expensive to make and aren't entirely stable. That's why they are only used in some laboratories and do not see wider usage. Come on, let's watch it. Hold on, let me figure out how to play the tape. There, let's... Ah, okay, this should do it. Kakata? Kakata? Seriously, I look away for one second and you're gone? I'm sorry, We first we have Spamton, right? And now this guy's named Carcat? <laughs> Speaking of people who talk with uh, specific uh, text issues. Its name is Karkata. There you are. Look here. This is our new home. 
I, Abatui, will unleash my talents here and amaze those ancient fossils at the Academia. Go, no. Oh, you're also quite happy. Kakata, do you know what we're about to do? <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I thought not. Listen up, Kakata. I'm going to make a mechanical life form that can be mass produced. The technology will be unlike anything else that exists. I'll use mechanical organs, and electric currents will course through them like blood. A steel cast heart that will beat forever, and a brain of myriad components that can think like mine. Inspiration from the ruins and the research that the academia had banned. I hope everything can start anew from this place. When you can understand our language and live among us, you will no longer be a boring machine, but a truly living being. It's fine. You will understand. One day, you will understand me. Two years ago. Kaka is the mechanical crab, right? And that researcher named Abatui? Said he wanted to prove something to the academia? Banned research. I remember now. I had a junior researcher named Abatui. He was expelled from the academia for researching mechanical life forms. Junior researcher? Junior researcher? Yeah. Well, what's wrong? Uh, he looks older than you? Nothing. Baima was just wondering. <laughs> doesn't Abatui look older than you? He is, but academic progression isn't tied to age. I finished my studies a while ago, so subsequent students generally considered me as their senior. Oh! Oh, you're smart for your age! Of course, age can be an issue. For a while, people always dragged me into pictures. I felt like some kind of animal on display. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> that isn't important. Let's go and see if we can find other tape recordings. <laughs> Natural clearing throat noise. <laughs> Not. <clears throat> anyway. Get you over here first. Hey. Go here, yeah, huh? I'm getting ahead of myself. Look, look! Paimon found another tape! A date is written on it. Let Paimon see. Oh, it's from a half a year ago! That's quite the time gap. I wonder what happened in between. After inserting the tape, the projector gradually it's it, rare that you malfunction it plays. because of an operational error. Seems that making coffee is still somewhat difficult for you. Or is there an issue with my set parameters? Coolie. The student mate er, taught this good thing how to make coffee. All right, there you go. Coolie. Water entered the Kila and caused it to short circuit, so it couldn't receive signals from the ganglion. Sure. Look at me, talking to you like this. You can't understand me anyway, can you? It's fine. I swapped in some new parts, so you should be all right now. Try moving around. Everything in working order? Go, Lou. Be more careful next time. We're tight on money right now, so we don't have a lot of parts or power to spare. Go, Lou. I'm glad. Karkata, did you know? Yesterday, I dreamed that you could talk. Aren't the bunch at the academia always saying things like, Mechanical intelligence is just an extension of statistics. They were blown away when they saw us talking with each other. Too bad it was just a dream. Forget holding a conversation with me. You're so simple that you probably wouldn't even notice if I died. Hmm. 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 Never mind. I should probably be worrying about next month's power. After Abatui left the academia, everyone lost contact with him. 
I thought he was so despondent that he gave up on researching mechanical life forms. Instead, he had holed up here and continued his experiments. Paimon doesn't feel like he's a bad person. He even changed out Karkata's broken parts. Why would he mess with ley lines? You mentioned something about power. Hmm. Let's keep looking around. He said that they were low on power and parts, and that's what the machine remembered and started doing on its own, I guess. I think the machine put that thing together and is still collecting parts because that's what he was asked to do. Hey, a chest! No line of dialogue? Following the serial numbers, the next recording should be here. The writing is sloppy. Perhaps his state of mind had changed. There's also an undated tape in the wrong spot. Doesn't seem like Abatui put it there. Maybe Karkata helped him with sorting. Hmm. It's hard to say. These are the last two tape recordings. Let's watch them. We watch them. Goru. Sorry, Karkata. I was just thinking about something. Today might become a special day. In my recent experiments, I successfully gave you a living being's instincts. When you're low on power, or if one of your parts is damaged, you will prioritize your survival command and proactively recharge or replace your parts. I blame Scaramouche for everything. <laughs> well, yeah, he, he's a bad guy. That is a very dangerous thing. And today, I did something even more dangerous. I've officially activated the third generation ley line extractor. The ley lines will serve as our power source from now on. Uh oh. Conducting research on mechanical life forms requires a large amount of power. Even if I scrimped it saved, the more I have wouldn't last for long. I'm also getting tired, Karkata. I don't know what's driving me to continue with this research anymore. They say that even if it simulates the operation of a living creature's organs, a machine is still an ice-cold tool. I want to prove them wrong. I want to turn you into a living, breathing, and talking being. I'm not talking about anything cheerful, Karkata. Modules for language, emotion, and movement. I've been working my absolute hardest to augment and refine your functionalities, but I've never seen an effective response. You are my finest success, but even you can't understand me. All you can do is execute limited responses based on preset commands or keywords. Karkata, I wish you could speak to me even just once. <sighs> yes. You cannot understand me, so you cannot answer me either. It is what it is. In a few days, I'll sell the failed ley line extractor for some more and continue my experiments. Life goes on, and I have to as well. I don't have any other choice. The failed ley line extractor. This is no. If I place another two control modules here to simulate the brain's thalamus... Oh, of course my heart decides to act up now. Why did I cut medication from our expenses? Karkata, come help me. <coughs> Strange. I feel weak. Oh no, I have to shut down the extractor. Shut it off. <coughs> if we let them recharge indefinitely, they'll go out of control. Right. I never input a command to shut down the extractor, so you don't understand what I'm saying. In the end, it's just like the academia said. Mechanical life forms only bring danger. My research... <gasps> Was there any point to it at all? I'm sorry, Karkata. In the end, 
I still wasn't able to turn you into a true mechanical life form. I see. So the leyline effluence was an accident. After Abatui's unexpected death, the mechanical monsters were driven by their instincts and continuously drew out power from the leyline extractor. This eventually resulted in severe damage to the leylines. Then Karkata. Paimon understands. Then why didn't Karkata go haywire like the other machines? Because Karkata is different from the other machines. Structures similar to living organisms, the ability to cry and laugh, and capacity for independent thought. To Abatui, only a machine with these features could be considered a mechanical life form. Perhaps only by building such a machine could he have the academia acknowledge his protracted research. But if he had slowed down and saw Karkata as a friend instead of an experimental product, he would have noticed. Karkata can't speak. And yet it cares about Abatui far more than it does about itself. What does that mean? You'll see in a bit. But before that, we have a more urgent task at hand. Turn these things off? First, let's find the control unit for the leyline extractor and shut it down. Oh, now you're open. Huh. <laughs> oh, I just needed to step on it. <laughs> More of this transparent flooring. It feels like a maze. Somebody is speculating that Kusanali or uh, Nahida, her kit, is her uh, elemental skill? Or maybe it's her burst, is going to be similar to the picture-taking uh, thing that we did in one of the events? Like when we took a picture of all the enemies? Like that's going to be built into her this actual is the final room. The moves. Control unit is likely in there. The land's here. Hmm. Want to try jumping down? Here I go. Oh. Stabilize. Let's light it up. In shroud. <gasps> I will have order. Illusion shattered. Fallen leaves. Adorn my knight into the wind. I'll uproot you. I'm going in. Now you shall perish. Shine down. This should be the control unit. Once we turn it off, the ley line extractor should also shut down. How'd the dude get here? Did he also zip around and walk on invisible platforms? Or maybe this place changed over the years that it was off. Without an external force damaging the ley lines, they should start to slowly repair themselves. Oh, but I bet you two are more worried about Karkata. Let's head back. Keep up. Come on. Step it up. Does he is he not reacting to treasure chest opening? I feel like that I always get a response from whoever I'm controlling usually. I was hoping to hear some of his uh 
voice lines, but I guess I could do this. Oh, I can't actually go into that, huh? Oh. Oh, yeah. I was trying to repair broken parts on him. Oh, that's sad. It's trying to give him a new heart because his old one gave out. Yeah. It's just trying to give him replacement parts. Seems like Karkata is unable to understand the concept of death. However, it probably remembers when Abatui replaced its parts when it malfunctioned, and how that restored it to an operational state. It's true that Karkata isn't able to think or understand many topics, but it is like a small child that imitates what adults do. So that's why it kept stealing mechanical parts. But it can't repair its owner, no matter how hard it tries. Yes, but the important thing is that it formed the thought of wanting to repair Abatui. No one knows how this thought came to be, but it has even suppressed the instincts that Abatui had installed. If it really is as we've predicted, this research truly will make waves in the academia. It might have been possible to achieve this with ancient technology, but no one has been able to do the same with modern tools. Karkata? Karkata? Can you hear Paimon? Tainari says you're awesome! It's not responding. It reached its limit. It hasn't recharged this entire time. Nor has it replaced its severely damaged parts. It's a miracle that it managed to hang on for so long. I'm going to confirm that the ley line extractor has shut down. Come with me. Let them be alone for a while. For you lies a non-operational Karkata and a lifeless Apatui. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Who? Uh, oh, because I'm playing as him, but we're we're going toward. The gotcha. Leyline extractor has ceased operations. Traces of leyline energy are still in the atmosphere, but the effluence's source has been stopped. The purification <laughs> devices will handle the rest. Don't forget to hydrate after crying so much. Moving on, those affected by the leylines need immediate care. We'll put up an announcement on the bulletin board about the dangers of entering the contaminated region, and for symptomatic individuals to find Kale. Karkata. According to the Academia's policies, we need to bring everything back. Research materials related to mechanical life forms will be destroyed, and Karkata will be disassembled and sealed away. Oh, fuck that! What the heck? You two should return first. I'll take care of things here. Although we've stopped the source of the effluence, the leyline energy in the air exceeds normal values. 
Your bodies won't be able to hold up if you continue to stay here. Uh, but... Listen, the Traveler hasn't rested very well, right? Also, it'll take some time to pack up all the research documents. You're not familiar with this research after all, so you won't be of much use here. Tell the Adventurer's Guild that the incident has been resolved, and then get some sleep. We can discuss matters tomorrow. Tainari marks out the pay to stay on the map, but uh, okay. Oh, and don't talk about Abatui. The fewer that know about mechanical life form research, the better. All right. Then let's go back to Catherine. Speaking of mechanical life form study, isn't Catherine a goddamn like living puppet machine cyborg android? Oh, Kazooie didn't say anything either. Maybe they don't say anything in the dungeons? <laughs> this is where we started, okay. I guess we'll leave. Shepard, Commander, does this unit have a soul? Yes. Um, I'm sure this will go over well. Catherine, she's not the only one. Yeah, apparently it's a Schneznian thing. They have these puppets all over the place. And what Raiden Shogun created... Scaramouche, he's a fucking, like, failed experiment? In that he is not limited to how much power he can use. While Raiden Shogun Puppet... Uh, is limited. Anyway, so the contaminated region turned out to be a ley line effluence deep in the forest. Things are already getting back to normal. I see. Thank you for your hard work. Once the excess ley line energy dissipates from the air, we should be able to make an announcement for residents to resume their normal activities. This is the stipulated reward. Please accept it. Academia. It's already damaged, but Paimon feels sad thinking about it getting disassembled. Me too. Oh, then how about we find Tainari tomorrow and ask him not to do that? Wait, what? Scaramouche is a puppet? I, th I believe so. I think that's what they went over in the story. Like, apparently he was a prototype for Raiden Shogun's puppet. And when creating him, there was no, like, limiter. To, to sh so they w weren't able to control how much uh, energy he output. So technically, he could be stronger than Raiden Shogun's puppet. Not stronger than Raiden Shogun, but stronger than the puppet. Technically. Um, we don't know if it has a negative effect on him when he does that stuff, but th the way they talked about him, it was like, oh, he he's not limited by the, his creation or something like that. I don't know, I have to go back to it? I don't know exactly when it was said. It had to have been during the, uh... No, you know what? I think it was in the, in the recap with Yai Miko, because she gave the Gnosis over to him, and then she, like, went over and explained who or what he was. Paimon really wants to go right now, but Kainari said that we would discuss matters tomorrow. We'll probably make him mad if we go now, huh? Probably. Well, speaking of, um, yeah, Scaramouche, she's going to be in the next update, apparently. 3.1. So we're probably going to have a confrontation slash fight with him. Either killing him, kind of like we did, uh, Senora? Or, uh, either, or uh, he might be teased as a playable character. Depending on how they go with it. All right then, we'll find Tainari tomorrow 
and tell him not to disassemble Karkata. I don't doubt he'll be a weekly boss. That sounds about right. I feel like he'll be the same as Child was. But Child is a playable character, so that's where I'm like wondering, is he going to be a weekly boss like Child or a weekly boss like Senora? One of them being dead and one of them not. Both tied the Fatui. Is this where Jafar is? Or Jafar's Bazaar? Bar? He's usually standing right here. Oh, it's Jafar! Hey! Wait, this is a weekly thing, or a daily thing. Uh, I'm alright, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good, that's good. You see, fix some other problem or another, perhaps? Well, I don't know what the problem is. If you seek to solve that suggestion, rather than Western Battle, I'd like to invite you to listen to the for William Waver. Minty bean soup together. You don't have to pay me, just find me a sprig of mint. Oh, where or where will I find mint? So this is like a gimme. Oh, you only have 1,900 mint sprigs? <laughs> well, your perspective is just tunnel vision. <laughs> Somebody's having an argument in the background. It's an excellent sprig of mint. How long have you had this for? I've had it for a year and a half. I, I picked it when I first started the game. Haven't used it for anything. <laughs> Minty bean soup. Thank you. My pleasure. Enjoy your meal. To me, eating means... I don't really care, because this is a daily quest and not really important to the story. Um, I will say that a daily quest I did yesterday was related to the trading card game, the TCG. Um, invocation, whatever it's called. The invocation TCG. Um, and the name of the quest was King of Invocation. And basically, I had to be—I had to pose to be inspiration for card game art because he's made he the dude was making a visual uh, or not a no visual novel, but a uh, a light novel for the Yai Publishing House based off of the rules of the card game, much like Yu-Gi-Oh. Except the manga came first, and then the card game came after. And then the manga finally, like, adapted the rules of the actual card game into the manga. And in the same way, they're kind of confused. They're like, we have the, the story written, but we don't really have the rules down yet. So we need to get the rules all squared away before you can continue writing your book. Did I wrap up the Groundhog Day thing? Yeah, that was I ended that portion of the Archon Quest on last, last stream. I can't remember when you left, but we wrapped that up. Yeah. I would say if you're interested in that story, it's uh, it's worth going and just checking out right when you missed. Because I think it had a pretty satisfying ending. As far as Archon Quests go, I think the game is getting better. I think it started with Inazuma, though. I don't think I was really interested in Archon Quest until, like, midway through Inazuma. Maybe even later. No, I, st I stood all night. Oh. Shit. They need to fix that. I accidentally cut Paimon off. She's like, well, I guess I won't talk. I guess I won't talk. That stream got really late, so I had to leave before the end. Yeah, I know, I know. I was so close to the end, though. By the time you left, I think it was I had like another 30 minutes before I finished. Have I not been here? I have a teleport point. Maybe I just got the teleport and just left. I just left. It's a greenhouse here. Yeah, I definitely did not give this area a good look when I got that teleport. Keep your voice down. The plants have ears. The lilac Daphne. A Daphne of the genus Themeliaceae has a strong anti-convulsant effect, 
can be made into an anesthetic powder. Oh, is he going to make the machine his little assistant? Extrapolating from these two data sets, it would be particularly potent against Piscine species. Hey, make sure you're getting all this down. Yeah, he's definitely getting a little assistant. He's a learning machine. Galu galu. Oh, I thought I told you all to keep your voices low. Plants aren't afraid of noise, but your shouting is <laughs> making my ears ring. Wow. You, you didn't disassemble Karkata? You need to stop being so shrill. Why would I do that? But Pyrrhon thought you said, according to the Academia's policies... Well, he's not part of the Academia. So that's why you two barged in like barbarians at this hour. Fine. I suppose I wasn't clear enough about this yesterday. What I meant was, according to the Academia's policies, all products of research must be destroyed. That's why we can't let the Academia discover that place. So the real reason you stayed back was to... Anyway, the first thing I did was repair Karkata. During my time at the Academia, I took an elective course at the Spantama. Who knew it would prove useful one day? I was so pissed when I thought he was getting disassembled at first. I had a feeling that he wasn't really being disassembled. And that Tainari wasn't that heartless. We then buried Abatui together. After organizing the research materials, I kept some as a souvenir. Most of it was burned <laughs> to hide the evidence. Of course you did. I think if you give the thing a name and it's living and it has feelings and it has a chance to live, they're not going to make a main character be heartless and, <laughs> and literally kill this creature. <laughs> In fact, he's burning evidence. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, he's also shown disdain for the academia before. They wanted to recruit him, and he said, like, fuck you. Nah, I got important things to do out here. I'm not with the academia. Yeah. So what do their policies have to do with me? Yeah. On the other hand, I am the forest watcher of the Avidya Forest. I have a duty to protect all life in the forest. And he is mecha mechanical life. All life brought forth in this world has meaning. There you go. And Karkata is no exception. If it exists, then it shouldn't be carelessly abandoned or destroyed. Yeah, I think I got Tainari's um, modus operandum very early on. This makes me like Tainari more for sure. Yeah. You're going to hate some of the cutscenes from Honkai. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get to play Honkai, honestly. <laughs> That's great. Especially if it's as chunky as this game. This game is long. This is like three or four RPGs rolled in one so far. And it's still got like several more regions. Wait, you just said life form. You recognize Karkata as a true living being now? If it, if it can li it can make its own decisions. The possibility exists is all. It's hard to explain Karkata's efforts to repair Abatui. It wasn't ordered to do that, so yeah, I feel like it's made its own decision to do that. Abatui only left behind a small portion of his research. Who knows how many commands he installed? Maybe a conflict between all those commands resulted in this sort of behavior. From a more rigorous perspective, it is impossible to conclude that Karkata is a real life form. But the possibility exists. I am willing to believe in that. By the way, I'm not interested in continuing research on this subject. I'm just letting it hang out here because this place is relatively secluded. Mm-hmm. Honk, I just added chapter 30. What chapter are we on in this game? But as things stand now, it wouldn't be a bad idea to make it my research assistant. At the very least, it can record my experiments. What do you think? <laughs> The unanswerable problems. Complete. So that's Tainari's uh, thing. Agnihotra Sutra. Should we do Aranikin's quest? Aranikin. Um, let me see here. Can we show completed? There we go. Ah. We are on chapter three. And act three and four of chapter three is coming out. 
When I uninstalled the game from phone, they were working on chapter 12 about three years ago. Oh my god. They've been, go they've been cranking away at that, huh? And do the chapters like work like this game? Like, Mondstadt is one chapter. It was considered the prologue, even. Leeway is chapter one. Inazuma is chapter two. Like, each region is a chapter. They had an interlude in between the things. Weird, I didn't realize. Or would each one of these things be considered a chapter? Three years ago, 18 chapters in three years. And this game's been out about three years now, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Seventeen, eighteen. Seventeen 15, 16, 17, 18, 17, 18. 17 and 18 are coming out like in days. So if it's the same amount of chapters per time, chapters are like a level system, so you'll have like mission 12, 5, 5, 3. Hmm. But 18 of these parts have come out in the last three years. If they're going on the same, like, pace, then it might be uh, similar. Early what? What did it say? Early photo. What am I looking at? The photo that... Oh, I'm there. The photo that was put inside. Put aside. Hello. Tainari and some girl. One of the many group photos. Tainari always has the same expression and doesn't seem to be interested in taking pictures. Huh. When people at the Academia included me in a group photo, they would also send me a copy. I have zero interest in group photos, but I also wouldn't just throw them away. I stored them all in a box. After coming back yesterday, I looked through them and found one with Abatui. I gave it to Karkata, and it seemed happy. That's good enough. Huh. When people at the Academia... Yep, I have okay. zero... After coming back... Hey, Karkata. Kalu Kalu. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but let's look at this photo. The photo next to Karkata is Abatui and Tainari. The photo of Tainari and Abatui. Abatui has a bright smile in this one. Oh. So I wonder if we ever come back to this place if Karkata's just going to be hanging out there. Use the Kusava to open up the path. All right, I guess we're doing a Rannikin. That one didn't take that long. Historically, these, uh... These story quests have been pretty chunky the later we get into the story. Um... Aside from very early on, like with, uh... Lisa or... Kaya or somebody like that. When you travel with Aranakin, you can use the Kusaba to call upon his power and repair certain broken elemental monuments. Wait, is this not related to the big giant fucking fuck-off story quest? Use the Kusaba. Oh, this thing. It's a fucking item. Oh. The bitter fruit of dreams. So now we need a. Gotcha. Oh my god, damn it. I, uh, what? Thought you needed a song. Oh no, apparently you, a Rannikin is what you need. Hey! Apparently I need Dendro, so I'm just gonna... Oh, I've been here before, I think. Maybe not. I can take that off the map.
Over here, Nara Chrono, Floaty Paimon. There's water everywhere. That Zora mushroom you mentioned, is it really here? Here, underwater, rocks and vines protecting cover him, so he's safe in water. Rocks blessed by Nara, Varuna, broke apart by themselves after many, many moonsets. Broken rocks sealed off the path to Zora Mushroom and protected him. A Rannikin can pair the, the rocks and make the water leave, so we can find Zora Mushroom. Use the Kusava to summon the Rannikin's power. A Rannikin trusts you will treat the Kusava well. Of course, we'll cherish anything you entrust us with. Mm, Kusava, Kusava. Kusikwan Kosehan. Wow, that was terrible. <laughs> Aranikin sings happy songs because there's hope for Matiima because Nara is willing to help. Wow, that was terrible. I keep thinking you're saying Aramikin. Aranikin. Like Anakin Skywalker. You might have missed earlier, but he made a fucking sand is rough and coarse and it gets everywhere. This this fucking little Korok fella that is named Aranikin. I don't know if you saw that. Execute Order 66. He literally made a Star Wars reference, though. He's either named for the character, or more likely, the team, either the translation team or the original script called for them to make a reference to Star Wars because of his name in that one sentence. Water level is lowered. Look, there's another broken stone over there. There's the last one. Let's use the cassava on it. It's so weird. You have to do this to summon it, but then you have to press the attack button or X. To summon him up. Jesus Christ. Hey. Wow, this is so lucky. Up we go. Well, I got a bird egg and 10,000 more? 15,000. Nice. What's in the house, though? More bird eggs? Okay. Well, we've lowered the water a good bit. Okay, we've got some enemies around, some... Thinking about switching away in a sec. Right, this is where it came from. Okay. We got my bearings. Uh, let's switch to a different party member. Somebody who is in a level 20 in the level 90 area. Not what I meant to do. This still takes a while. And I think this has everything to do with where the game is installed, which is not on my SSD, but on the D drive, the different hard drive. I don't think I need to kill these things. This I'm more interested in doing. D's drive. So Sino, people are saying that he's the type of person that would make a D's nuts joke. I don't know how much I believe that. Huh? He does like the card game, though. So he's kind of a nerd. 
Order guide you. Gather. Clouds high. The birds call. One with nature. Everybody stand back. Torn to oblivion. I'm sorry, you get tried to get away. It's like, oh, I'm gonna zip over here. So apparently I need to do this kind of puzzle like 16 times before, like, the game gives me a story quest or a world quest. Um, but one of them is locked behind me doing more of the r, &R quest. I literally can't get to one because it's like underwater or I need, I need a music or a song to unlock the thing. Oh, is this going to be worth it? I, I sort of wish that you could activate these with something other than Dendro. I don't want a Dendro person in my party right now. Give me Kusanali. Then I won't complain. Okay. Explore the cave. What I need to do... Well... Is this the Zora mushroom? It looks so... Mundane. Hmm, this is... Huh? It is just an ordinary mushroom. Very cunning. Very clever. Eh, so we waste all that effort? Is the Zora mushroom not here? Zora mushroom is no ordinary mushroom. That's more cunning than clever. He's probably escaped by now. Mushrooms can run away too? Of course, they don't have roots. But they can absorb nutrients and rocks. They don't have legs, but can run, for they are mushrooms, not plants. But don't fret, Nara Chrono. Let me ask this fellow. He speaks to the mushroom and whispers. It said Zora Mushroom went to a cave that has Marana, which is dissolved in the water. It's very dangerous. But why would the Zora Mushroom go there? Because Marana moves too fast and must be stopped. Zora Mushroom can stop Marana, but it won't hold up for long. Hmm, then we better get going and save the mushroom. Yes, we must hurry. Bet the mushroom is on the back of a golem. Well, I'm gonna take that thing. At the very least. Ha, <laughs> fuck me. Well, at least it's getting faster switching between them. Once I've done it once, then it's pretty fast switching. Well, we're adjusting. Hey. Uh, glad there weren't any poisonous mushrooms inside. Switch back. It's like super quick. Um I think this is up on a cliff and I can glide down. There is no escape. I actually want to look at the, uh... The would-be in foods here. Starshroom? Activated Starshroom. 300 HP? 800 HP. 1 HP. Okay, so unless a... There comes to be a recipe that requires Scorch Starshrooms, never Scorch them. In fact, activate them if you can. 800 HP isn't that bad for, like, a thing you can pick. I should have been doing that this entire time. Seems like Electro is very, very useful in the Dendro region. Okay, quickly, let's do this. Oh, little Seely fella. Making sure there's, like, not an activated Sumeru Rose. I think it's specifically mushrooms. Ah, 
Okay, right here. Brings a smile to my face. Well, those little things fell off. Wait, well, yeah, I think this might be like a puzzle here. Not hit. What? Was pretty sure I hit those other two times. Um, there's another one around here. I mean, that's got to be a puzzle, right? There's got to be a, like a another one flying around. Forgot that there was a zip point. Um, I don't see any more. Well, I mean, it could have just been happy and floating around, and I killed it. Whoops. Well, at least I've got the loading past its point. Oh, this is underground. No, oh, fuck. Okay, hold up. I think I can get to it from down here. Wait. Oh, this is the completed touch grass puzzle. It now grows some error roses. Cool. I don't think I knew that they did that. Okay, pathway is... right here, and it goes underground. Okay. Oh, come. Can I... Is it not close enough? I might not be able to get to this good thing. Oh, son of a bitch. I don't want to touch grass. Um, okay, I guess we're gonna... Ugh. Ugh. We gotta go this way. Aranakin? I warped out of here because I didn't see the, I guess, the back entrance of this cave. And I assume that the next thing was above ground because, look. When, in fact, I needed to zip on up that way. Yep. Yeah. Should have just looked around a little better. There's a few minutes of waste of time. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry, what? Oh, you have to hit it higher. Go to the cave where the Zora is located. Zora Mushroom. Oh, so I didn't need to be in that cave. I just need to activate that thing for no reason. Gotcha. 
Woo, we're finally out. Let's look for the cave where the Zora Mushroom is. Yeah, them again? Eradicate, where did it go all of a sudden? It's important to replenish your supplies often when you're out in the wild. Yeah, we're not zipping that way, we're going over here. The air mites. Oh, it's these two. Hmm. Stop. You can't enter. Why are you people here again? Come on, what are you doing here? Out on a date, perchance? Hmm. You can't even come up with that answer? <laughs> That's so suspicious. You can't enter. You can't enter, and that's that. Are you two serious? You two think you can stop me? Hmm. It's three. Three, at least. Pardon my boys, they're not good with words. I've already made it clear that I'd never threaten friends. It was just a warning, that's all. Whatever you want is not in this cave, unless it's death. Everything dies in there, no matter what it is. Don't try and scare us, we've experienced all kinds of danger. Why would I try to scare you when I'm elated to see you again? I'm just worried about your safety. We discovered a withering zone inside, that's why we've drawn a circle at the entrance to warn commoners from wandering in. Where's the circle, then? Uh, where's the circle? Uh, tell me now, where's the circle? I, uh, he, uh... You're the boss, so there's one if you say so. <laughs> Regardless of my friends, the cave is treacherous and unpredictable. I suggest you to leave right now. How come it's you again? Again? Well, I guess fate works in mysterious ways. Uh, it's got plans for us. That's what we all thought when we picked up our first sword, until we saw blood for the first time. Alright, alright, don't listen to me then. Like I said, I warned you out of the goodness of my heart. Go in if you insist. It's not like you're hiring us to be your bodyguards, right? Come on, boys, we're out of here. <laughs> Let's go. Well, if there isn't a withering zone in here, we know they're full of shit. But it seems that they're not entirely. I'm here, Nara Chrono and White Floaty. What? Where have you been? Some bad sand grains were here. They were up to no good, so I didn't want to come out. Are you referring to the Aramite mercenaries? Are you afraid of them? White Floaty wrong. I'm not afraid. They're weak. I'm strong. Strong to the point of hiding. No, no. <laughs> Nara Chrono always says irritating things. Anyway, the water here. It's showing some strange colors. You think it's because of... Marana. The withering. Correct. It is Marana. It permeates the water and dances like mist. So you can't drink the water and it makes the plant sick. Thanks to Zora Mushroom. Marana has withdrawn a little, but Marana is still too much around. Zora Mushroom is not feeling well. He's in danger. But the place is all affected by the withering. How are we supposed to get close? Hmm, look at that odd old rock over there. Repair it and the crock in the pond should open big enough to drain the water away. But even if we could drain the water, what are we going to do with the withering here? Well, we'll worry about that later. We also have to break the seal protecting Zora Mushroom to head let him join us. Okay, got it. Let's get to work, then. Cassava can temporarily wake up plants tainted by Marana. Also let them sprout new lines. Like this? I didn't do it. It... Might as well activate these things while I can. Just 
do we get from up here? So it doesn't remember that this is the dendro affecting it, but it does remember it if it has the uh, thingy fly at it. It's very micro adjustments that can, can't really make with a controller sometimes. It definitely went off. We'll repair these things one by one here. Solidify. Into the wind. This is just money. Just money. Um. Jeez, when it flashes the black like that, it scares me a little. Like, oh, did my computer just fucking die? Water level's been lowered. There's the Mazora Mushroom. That Zora Mushroom? Does look to be different. Hmm, seal. We need to look around for the stones that can lift the seal. Use the cassava. Well, nothing comes easy. Okay, well, we have some withering here that I can't fully access. Well, let's see if we can zip up somewhere. This might be a way out. This is not the way we came in, is it? No, it's not. Oh. Ah. It's like, why is it bouncing me up? That's a different way in. Um... Alright. Okay. There's nothing this way. Just a way out. I like having those as often as possible. It's one that lowered. We also created these, I think, from far away and not realizing it. Hmm. You think our little R and R friend can activate explosive barrels? I want to try. Aranakin, blow them up. No, he can't. Solidify. I can. Illusion shattered. Go. One with nature. Shut up. All right, fully drained, more or less. Okay, let's work on the withering then. Murata has been revealed. Was that a green ceiling? It's the first time I've seen one of them. I've seen fire ceilings on the mountain. 
and electro sealies, which are more like just little electro balls, but... Okay, we can probably get this from a distance. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, I've got Zhongli's shield up. I'll make use of it. Oh, thank you for leading me to it. Yeah, just fast forward through that shit. One man's stone is another man's. Hey, son! Thanks for stopping by. Uh, you finally got your PC put together? Is that what you said? <laughs> this guy might have been trying to help during the withering process, but now I don't know if he's useful. Ah. Stabilize. Leads me into a trap. More like. Because I activated all these from a distance. <laughs> oh, more of this. There's that thin boy squeak. Oh, yeah, it's just like a, a dendro sealy. That's the first one I've seen. Well, it's good to have you, son. I'm ho hopefully you uh, enjoy the stream. We're just hanging out. We're doing... We've done the... um. Tainori's story quest, but we're just doing some uh, Mushroom Men quests. So can this be... In here, let me show you. It's this stone right here. Oh. Okay. And there's another one somewhere? Mushroom dance, mushroom dance. Ah. Stabilize. Illusion shattered. Into the wind. You hear the stone left by Naranara. Oh, look who it is. Shine down. Sorry what for what's to come, my friend. One with nature. They they fucking Thanos away into sand. Retreat, this is a tough nut to crack. Oh now you're talking of the Aramites. God, Paimon knew they were up to something with Lunja. They must be after the Zora mushroom. Uh oh. And look at what's gone. Chronic can sympathize with not having a computer for a while. Yep. Yep. <sighs> this is uh, the, the best it's been working in months. Look, over there. Awful sand grains. Follow them. Um, up we go. Haven't been able to play your games. We were living with people who were mean, and now they're gone. I put my computer in their old room. Oh wow! These things weren't here before. Watch out for traps. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. 
You guys really are sly as foxes. Move from Tennessee to Arizona. Oh, yeah. Minimum. Ziri, I got it. Find a messenger to inform the client. And we're leaving now. Those were tough opponents. The Withering couldn't stop them. Anka and Nisan got hurt, too. So before they catch up with us... Boss. Didn't you hear what I said? What are you waiting for? She's here already. Hmm. I'm all ears. Please continue. Is this how you treat your friends? Ah, I just can't get rid of you, can I? Sorry, my friends. We just wanted the Zora mushroom for our client. Just business, nothing personal. Friends? We're not friends. How can you still call us that? What do you mean, little one? I already apologized. Let's just let bygones be bygones, okay? Ah, you! Seriously, you've proven you're extraordinary by giving Anka and Nissan a good thrashing. I admire warriors like you. It's my honor to be your friend, but business is business. I'm sure you understand, right? I hate to break our friendship. It would be such a shame to let some boring business get in between us friends. Hand over the Zora mushroom. Take it easy, my friend. You're the ones who are cornered in this cave. You want to risk your life for it? Not a problem. But I'd rather not see any more of my people get hurt over a lousy mushroom. The pay's just not worth it, so let's make a deal. Who would trust a scammer like you? Well, that depends on how much you're willing to pay. <laughs> I can offer you a lesson. Yeah, you're extorting the wrong people. <laughs> I see. I respect your proposal. Hmm, <laughs> the tenacity is so infuriating. We're deep in the red for this one. All right, boys, we get get ready to fight. Yeah, well, I guess I could have gotten more story if I just listened to their bullshit, but... <laughs> You're not even let me use Raiden? Okay. Well, you picked on the wrong person. The Zora Mushroom is ours now. Impressive. Nara Chrono made those bad sand grains run off in a couple of moves. Pow! Smash! That's Super Fighter Nara Chrono for you. <laughs> Aranikin's right to trust you. Nara Chrono is no sand grain, but a mighty seed. Aranikin must sing about it and let everyone in the woods know. Yay! Kusava! Kusava! Cool seek one. Kose Han. Kusava happy. Aranikin is going to the Matayamas forest for uh, and to meet up with friends. You must come and see us when the ritual is coming up. Oh yeah, friend Araguru is waiting for you too. We'll tell the plants along the way to inform him that you're coming. He'll be waiting for you in the cave where the moon falls. He'll guide you to the dead Nara's old home. The walking shroomkin now lives there. Be careful. I'll bear that in mind. Oh, and uh, don't go yet. Aranikin loves to sing and share songs with friends, but Aranikin doesn't know if Nara could hear Aranara's songs. Yes, we can. Paimon loves to sing, too. Then Aranikin will give you this song. Please take the song leaf. Follow its veins with Nara's voice, and the song will come out. So you mean that uh, we can follow the score and learn your song? Yes, yes. Paimon and White Floaty can be smart sometimes. Okay, that probably came out wrong, but thanks. Thank you. I'll cherish it. We can sing it together sometime. Yes, together. <laughs> There's some damn aura names. Aranikin song. It can be used to borrow the power of plants to repair some broken elemental monuments. Okay, so later on it becomes a song that does the same thing. It's to borrow his power. So you were not wrong about it being a song that does it. Yeah. But those first ones that introduce the mission. Yeah, okay. Play this song in the Vintage Lyre when next to these broken monuments to restore their functions. Is this the guy that uh, is just walking back and forth? Welcome, welcome. Stabilize. Let's light it up. One with nature. I'm going in. Inazuma shines eternal. Oh, he didn't get it by that. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the quests here now. 
Risen Moon chapter. Look for Aragaru upon Aranikin's request. Is this is this actually separate from this, or is it one of the like things I have to do? Because even this is branching off for a while. I have no idea. Let's light it up. Have you done this quest? Probably corrected, connected knowing this quest. Now I remember I don't know how to fix, didn't know how to fix the thing. Oh, well, I thought you um, had the power, but you can't remember the, the quest involving it. Let's do this. Wait, there's a guy up here. Whoa, that's weird. It's like tunneled into the thing. What if I do this? <laughs> yeah. He actually popped out of uh, Zhongli's pillar. Probably get that checked out. One man's stone is another man's gem. Wait a minute. There's a thing on the map. We got any zip points? Make this easy? Nope. Follow the wind. Nah, I see. Oh, there's a zip point next to the Sealy. I think that's over here. Over there. Rise. Can I get enough height from this, I wonder? One with nature. No. But maybe if I do it from the mountain here, I, I can get to it. Just do that. Got rumors outside. Also have a thing to check for a free Primo gem. I'm not gonna kill these little slimes. They're just huddling together in the middle of the night for warmth or something. Now that would have been an easy way to get up. Where'd that Sealy go? I wasn't keeping an eye on it. It went from here to somewhere else. Ah! It flew all the way over here without me realizing. Oh! Since there aren't benefits to a life of wandering. Uh... Give me a minute while I do this. Man, I gotta get back into playing Genshin. Zhongli needs to see an archaeologist if his pillar sticks around for more than four hours. Yeah, the story is trying to starting to pick up. Whoops. I could just do this. I don't know why I didn't do this. Now I have Oonga Boonga Man on my team, so that helped a lot. Yeah, Sapphire was literally, like, was legitimately not enjoying this game for a good portion, but then she got Ito, and then all of a sudden she's enjoying the game. Which kind of plays to my point that I think that MiHoYo should give people a free five-star when they start the game. Not only for them to have a character that they want very early on, but also to um, give them kind of a, like a head start because uh, the game can be difficult if you don't have a 
powerful character or team. Also, see you, Leaps. Thanks for stopping by. This isn't something you have to do too often, but this becomes an issue when you're at my point in the game. Where uh, every once in a while you'll have to uh, destroy artifacts because you have too many. But um, this is only because I have nothing to put these into. Otherwise, I'd be melting these down and putting them into artifacts that I want to power up. But I don't have any of those at the moment. I will need some whenever uh, Kusanali comes to the game. And that gets dropped. There's that Mora. Um, I've gotten rid of about 300. We're good for now. I'll save those for uh, melting down later. Yeah, you grind a lot. I don't deal with this too often. I, I just haven't cleared my inventory in a while. Um, I haven't artifact farmed in a while either. This has just been like from exploring. Hey, fellas. Solidify. There is no escape. The wind knows. I guess now I can do the challenge. Okay. Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? I got an Aramite camp over here. Is there any treasure chests? Otherwise, I'm not going to deal with it. Nope. I don't kill everything I see. Not anymore. I used to have that mindset. But uh, since they reset every day, and, he, and if you explore a region, you'll be killing the same people over and over and over. Let's get the Sealy, though. Whoa! So many regrets. <laughs> So many regrets. So I I pressed the the button to use the uh, the glider, but I think I pressed it while I was like sliding off of the tree, and it didn't deploy. All right, he has what one hit point? Fifty hit points out of twenty thousand. Let's just see how quick. Bennett heals. Boom, boom. He's done. Fifteen thousand hit points. That's that's one of the two reasons I have Bennett on the team. He's he's a healer, but he also buffs very very good goodly. So these don't actually. It's just Dendro that activate these things. Okay. Thankfully, what I'm doing right now, son, isn't a spoiler for the story, more, uh, I guess, spoiler for region exploration stuff, a little bit. World quest spoilers, I suppose. But this world quest is fucking long. What is this? To the wind. Sure. Illusion shattered. Let's light it up. Sure. Sure. Go away. What is this? This thing is acting like a Sealy, but it's not. I need to what? Um, activate. Interesting. So I'm guessing Pyro doesn't have as good of a reaction. Yeah, like it stops it in its tracks entirely. 
But this one actually made it turn the mushroom into a like a, a physical yeah. thing. Yeah. So what would Pyro do, I wonder? It's hard to say. It, it already activated the mushroom, so it's not really doing anything anymore. I'd love to keep Kale on the field, but she she could die in like two hits from even these little mushroom lads. I really need a uh, Kusanali. We're Fajita on the team. Uh, yeah, I need Fajita. St oh, I can only activate the challenge from inside the water? Cool. Good design. But I can zip out of the water, which I do think is good design. Why didn't it Oh, the mushroom. Jump. Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? Um, oh wait, I can activate this with the the, the harp, right? But I need to drain this water first, I think. Um, maybe, maybe I need to drain the water first. All right, let's see if we can get the item here. I don't see his, uh, tune coming up. I might have to lower the water for it to actually know what I'm doing. So this is blocking the water, maybe? Maybe if I do this. Nope. <laughs> that didn't do it. I think it was a good idea. It looks like the water's supposed to flow off here. Uh, what if we teleport just over here? Maybe that'll reset it. Nope, I definitely remembered. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. Maybe I was supposed to electro supercharge this thing and not pyrokinesis. <laughs> with Dendro? Yeah. Okay, I'll try that. I, I don't have Dendro in my party, so I've never really tried it. Okay, so let's try to electrify it. Illusion shattered. I tried Dendro on this, maybe. Nope. This is the, the specific type of rock that was activated with a Rannikin. And he gave us a song to sort of simulate his powers. Yeah, I, I stood on that and used the music and I didn't see the... Uh... I guess we can see if I'm missing the song. Doesn't say anything. I'm not seeing anything like highlighted. I'm thinking I need to drain this water, I just don't know how. Maybe it's a puzzle that has to do with, like, below the mushroom? Like, maybe down here? Am I overthinking this? I wonder. What's the name of this region? 
Mautima Forest. Oh, that's good. Uh, I'm just going to open up a Chrome tab. Genshin Mautima Forest Rock. Underwater. Dendro Totem. Specifically. Um. Son of a bitch. I don't know how to search for this. I don't think it's something I've done yet. Because it would be glowing if I had actually activated it. Like the ones in that cave. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Went the wrong way. I thought for a second that, like, the water had drained. Yeah, I don't know how to fucking... What is this thing called? I guess I had a tutorial for it, right? That was in the cave just now. I It was, like, split apart. And I used a Rannikin to bring it together, and I was just able to touch it and activate it. So either I've done this already... And it's just, it's just, it's activated. It did what it was supposed to do. Um, but it, they were kind of like glowing after I touched it. Not just put together. I don't know, maybe I did it off stream. I, uh, I don't know. I feel like I've, I've messed around with this for too long, so I'm just going to move on. And get back to a ran ranikin. I will look and see if I have the song for this right here. Probably don't. The song of my people. Um, I do have this one. Yeah, this is the first one. This is very Zelda. Ah, it's a seed challenge. Right, and if I electro these mushrooms, they tell me what the next one is. My god, okay. Okay. Alright, it's not as bad as I thought. Okay. They're all around the outside. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need another set of hints, but what is this? This is a dendro thing that's locked behind probably a different puzzle. Ah. And we only need four, and four are here, so we're good on that. So now we just need to make it back to the, the beginning point. I'm sorry. I just needed a little more height, I guess.
challenge failed. I needed to get back to the thing. So why did it activate this? Wait, what? Oh, because it's like the dream version of this place. Because the, like, the, I came back down and the mushroom looked different. I don't even know where I started, actually. That's That was part of the problem. I thought that the wind current was taking me up back to where I was. Uh, the only way I know how to retrace my steps is from here. <sighs> okay. This way. I need to on the map, sort of. Okay. I'm just making a note of where I'm starting here. Damn. I didn't realize I was running out of time either. Come on. Oh, you know what? I can probably activate that dendro thing back there and it creates zip points. But I don't have a dendro person in the party at the moment. I think your stamina recharges while you're doing that zip thing. Yeah, it didn't activate a wind current this time. Oh, because I didn't fucking finish. What am I missing? Oh, over there, yeah. Yeah, the flowers give you a little beam. I must have missed it when I first came through here. So I need to go back this way now. See, I have a minute 25. Oh, I failed the challenge because I left the zone. Not because I ran out of time. I was like, there's no way I failed this by running out of time last time. Just take the long way here. There's probably an easier way back, but I, I didn't see a clear. Precious chest. A fateful offering. Okay. That was us getting distracted again. Oh, this will take two seconds. First, I want to get this. Get oh, yeah? I will have order. Stabilize. Now you shall perish. Um, find a Ragaru. Is that part of... Yeah, that's part of... Aranikin's quest line. Guys. I'm trying to stay focused. I swear I'm trying. But plants are coming to life and starting shit. This is order. Okay, how far away is this? Could probably warp to it. Uh, let's do that. What was that about uh, Kazuha's mentality? Oh, I have so much regrets. Oh yeah, holy shit, yeah. It's sad.
Hey, that is a that friend there Ar Aranikin mentioned, right? Turns out he he's the one we've been waiting for. Golden Nara and White Floaty, you are here. I am Aragaru. Plants and mushrooms told me you would come. I have waited a very long time. Uh, you know us? Do you need us for something? Yes, something big. Very big. Whoa, slow down. Take your time. Marana is growing bigger and bigger. Forests are afraid to speak, afraid to breathe. Marana wants to eat them. To stop Marana, Arang Aranaga is busy preparing the Arahava for a ritual. <laughs> but Arahaoma still needs the barsom flower. Paimon sees, but where can we find this barsom flower? Paimon, you get the name right this time. <laughs> barsom flower. Impressive, huh? The barsom flower is at where the mushroom grow. Mushrooms grow. The place was Nara's home many, many moonrises and moonsets ago. But then wet dirt covered Nara's dreams. And new plants grew back in their memories. They were dried up and reborn generation after generation. That is the kind of place we want to go. Hmm, Paimon doesn't quite understand, but it sounds pretty scary. Not scary, not scary. Plants love places. Nara are scared of. So lots of plants there. There are runes left by Nara and Aranara there. For not forgetting and for recalling after forgetting. Go there and find the barsom flower. Hmm, let's go to this place Aragaru's talking about. Oh, right. And also Kusava. With Kusava, Aranara strong, strong. Can clear the path for everyone. Aragaru can smash the rocks. Ha! Yeah! Boom! Aragaru is so tiny, but so strong. Eh, yes, very strong, but hmm. It has to be cracked rock with green vines. Ones with no cracks, not strong enough to smash them. What's Barsom Flower? Barsom Flower is Aranara's good friend and is born of Arahoma. Arahoma. Uh, two fucking vowels in the same word. And I don't know if it's like Arahoma? Arahoma? It is the source of the potion. Have to sacrifice juice to refine Arahoma. Moon comes and goes. Not much left now. Walking shroomkin are always inside. Increasing now. This is very bad. We must hurry. Did he give me a thing to use? I have to go up. Quake. That's not what I meant to do. Chitakram Cave. Really? I think I needed to Break something down there. I, I didn't see... Ah, oh, I must have missed an opening. Yeah, right there. I moved to the left too far. Th this is a problem that I don't quite know how to solve. But when you're being led somewhere on the map... And you don't know where the entrance to, like, a cave is... Okay, so the cassava is dependent on which R&R you have currently in your employ, so... He smashes rocks. So many fungi, they're all coming out! Okay. I think I need to bust out uh, Kale again. This is going to be going the same as last time. Hey, <laughs> this is where Nara and Aranara Nara recorded their stories together. Here are the Aranara story, Nara story, and... Nara story, Aranara story, Nara story, Aranara story. Oh, and then another Nara story, and another Aranara story. Walking Shroomkin! Ah, they have a story too. One with nature. 
No, they're here too. We have to hurry and drive them off or they will multiply and compete against everyone for nutrients. Investigate the rune surrounded by fungus. Ara, ara. Ara, ara. Here, look! What's this? It looks like a child's drawing. What's it supposed to be? King of Games! Yeah, I'm ready for that. I'm ready for cards to be added to the game. Memory. Aranara memories can store in tubers. <laughs> a fucking tuber? And seeds can flow in leaf veins, but Nara memories are carved in the stones. Get ready for tuber reactions. Eh, whenever the moon is high in the sky, the three of us, Aranara, would come here, recall stories from the past, just like Nara. Hmm, what's that in this drawing? It's not a drawing, it's a rune. It's a river of light. And in it are flower stems blooming with stars. The river and star send us brave Nara. The Grand Master of Verdure cultivated the bud of wisdom in the hearts of brave Nara and let Aranara guide them to the glimmering water cave. Hmm, that's it. There are many other runes nearby. Let's go see them. Maybe not many other, but there are others. Let's get this, uh, thing. This Dendroculus. Follow the wind. Uh, we gotta... Yeah, it's the same as the last one we did. Okay. This way? So these star shrooms, more valuable when I do this. So there's no reason not to. Unless I'm lazy. Like, really lazy. Careful, there's shroom walking kin here too! He's talking about a, sh uh, a show, a stone he can break? Where it's possible, I just don't know I'm picking it up, because sometimes I see a sparkle. Got him. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before we do that, it's probably underneath. Yeah, it's locked in that shit. Okay. Perhaps we need to do that little puzzle there. Frog? Whoops. Solidify. Not what I meant to do. One with nature. This bloom hurt me. Doesn't look like it, because I activated it. Gather. <laughs> Into the wind. Shine down. Okay. Let's try this again. Huh. Ah. Huh. Come on, guys. Solidify. Stop spawning up, you shits! One with nature. Illusion shattered. Stabilize. Into the wind. Now I gotta get another thing. Well, that was involved. Okay. Let's move away from here. I always look for a zip point whenever I'm down in a fucking crevasse and I want to get the fuck out. <sighs> Investigate. Tell me a story. Hmm, the Grand Master of Verdure lifted the flower vines, letting the brave Nara pass with the cave to the realm of Cobb. Okay. Okay. Let's 
There's the last one. With the help of our Nara, the brave Nara expelled Morana together with the Barsom Flower. The dark Morana fled, vanishing in an is instant. I guess he told me to be careful. Uh, investigate. The realm of Cobb. That's what the Barsom Flowers dream, where a flower can sleep on water, floating and wobbling, with no risk of being hurt by Marana. Don't forget to pre-install 3.1 tonight if you haven't already. I don't think I have, because I haven't used the launcher in a while. I don't know how much it helps, um, because it's going to be a five-hour uh, maintenance whenever they do do it. It's gonna be like in the middle of the day tomorrow when they when they start doing the update. The realm of Cobb is up ahead, outside the cave. We must be careful on the way here. There, right. Yeah, the Renara sleep. Once we're here, where we stone homes Nara made. But after they fell asleep, plants came from their dreams and became owners of this place. Oh, does White Floaty understand? Not really, <laughs> because Floaty is silly. I see. So that's why. Hey, whose side are you on? <laughs> Illusion shattered. All right, Chrono and White Floaty, let's go. Follow the passage from here, and we'll see the exit. There is no escape. To the wind. It's nice to have uh, Kazooie suck in all the uh, the things you pick up, so I don't have to like w wander around and pick up. I don't have to go like ooh do 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 ooh do 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 ooh do 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 I was kind of looking forward to a, um, a Geo, uh, Sumeru character that uses, like, sand. Kind of like Gora from Naruto or something. Kazuha does the suck. Let's hear him, let's hear him jump. Oh, he doesn't want to make noise now. He's embarrassed. What was that about? He wouldn't do it, and then he does. Nara left the stones, but didn't leave memories. Nara Varuna came here, cried for them. I can't read this fast. Memory of Varuna... The Barsh Flower won't be harmed when it sleeps inside. I don't understand! Is he the bitch up his head? Is it a hep ahead? Yep, right up ahead. There it is. He heard Kali make a noise. He's like, I won't be outdone. Where's this fellow leading us? water slime's like, ah, come back here! There's one of them little grass boars, the fungal boars. Do you have to leave me by here? Shine down! The wind knows me. This little monument. 
For 15,000? Yeah, 15,000. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. I don't know if I have the song for this. Yeah. Yeah, that song. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, b -b -b we get distracted yet again. I guess I need to mark this, right? I should fuck. I should mark this. What should I mark this as? It's a star. A star bit from Mario Galaxy. Oh, this thing's gonna come to life, isn't it? Yeah, waiting for the life bar. There we go. Everybody stand back. Order guide you. Fallen leaves. Adorn my knights, one with nature. You didn't even let Raiden do her burst. Uh go to the cave where the bar some flower is located. Straight ahead. Go back for a fucking sweet flower as if I don't have enough of those. Into the wind. Illusion shattered. Stabilize. Uh, we need to go up on that rock. Tell me I can, like, zip. Follow the wind. Yes. Um, except it's lower. Shit. Oh, I was like, where where is this leading me? Oh. Uh, this is the place. You think the Seedly's gonna respawn at the starting point? Oh no, I hope not. This is blocked by vines, there's no way you can get in. Hey, don't fret, white floaty, watch me! <laughs> wow, how'd you do that, Araguru? Paimon wants to learn this. I don't think this sort of thing can be learned. I want to learn too! Araguru can talk with vines, so the vines will make way for Araguru. The language of vines is like singing. It's hard to learn from Nara. But if Nara wants to learn, I will teach you. Paimon wants to learn. Please do teach Paimon later, Araguru. Okay, if I don't forget you. Let's jump down there. Nara and White Floaty can fly, so there's no need to worry about breaking. <laughs> don't tell that to Kazuha. Come here. Get over here! Yep, didn't have to move. <laughs> All of them just got sucked. Fateful offering. Alright, nothing here, okay. We can go this way. Usually see these reset. Well, I I hope that it remembers, but I would not put it past. Oh, they got me on the edge of the map here, huh? Gather. 
Like, what if I was to walk over here? Illusion shatters. The wind knows me. Okay. Oh, you got knocked back. Brings a smile to my face. Two Primo Jibs. Your ads up. Not fast enough, though. This is the realm of the cob. Where this is where the plant's sweet dreams hide. See? Growing over there is the barsom flower. Wow. So quiet here. The barsom flower is here. Hmm. Why does it look so odd? The realm of cob is very weak. Shroomkin came in, ate lots of nutrients, but the barsom flower is not hurt. Not yet. Let's go let this seal, then talk to him. Okay, we'll let the seal, then you can go talk to him. So I wonder if we'll ever run into those, um... The water overhead looks pretty quiet. I don't still worry, though. What should we do if something comes pouring on us? Pouring down on us. Will we ever run into those Aramite people that were posing as our friends? I don't think they're dead. I don't think the Traveler killed them. Huh. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm probably dumb. I need to... The Sealy will actually go down here. Yeah. I thought it was going to be the other way around. Like, they, it would go around the, the big cave. But this guy's probably going to lead us through. Hold up. Not close enough. All right, you guys. One with nature. Shine down. Solidify. The wind knows. Illusion shatters. Yeah, even though. Even though Kale is not that strong, the Dendro reactions are enough to do some crazy stuff. All is Aranara. All is Aranara. All is Aranara. All is Aranara. Oop. Yeah, so I didn't know you can summon more than one. And the screen's a little looking, looking a little dark here. Uh, it's because I'm at the edge of the map. Uh, glad there weren't any poisonous mushrooms inside. <laughs> that was creepy. <laughs> All is Narnar. All is Narnar. Illusion shattered. The wind knows me. I That's about right. Accidentally didn't shield and Kali died in one hit. I knew this day would come, she said. Into the wind. Also, no fucking words from whenever we switch to a uh, new party member. I need to use a piece of food here. Another egg. Well, she's immediately fully healed. Right, I gotta...
forgot what I was doing. Okay, let's do this. And you will live. Okay. Whoops. Shine down. I'm gonna chest. Hmm. Okay, hold on. I need to know this. When I do this, how do I get out of this? What's what's do I have to actually do left bumper and B out of this? I, I've been jumping out of it. Is there like a dash out of it? There's no like just straight button you can press. Because this summons him. I can jump or dash out of it. Otherwise, I have to do the button combination again to get out of it. That seems like a misstep. Because, um. I feel like just the B button, the activator, whatever button, should get you out of it. But I guess dashing and jumping is okay. It's a li it's a, that's a very little nitpick, but it's kind of like they didn't even think about it. Wheat. And now I'm like accidentally pressing it preemptively. Watch out, Narvel! There's a big so Shroomkin popping up. I. No Stone Pond just had a feeling there was something inside. Yeah. Gotta have a Dendro in the party. The exit is open. Let's get out of here. Not yet. Oh, that exit is that. Let's go back to the center, right. We're not done, though. Must be something hidden inside the stone, right? Can we just give me a second while I do this? Okay. Ah, see, these are one of those stones. Let's get a good look at it now that I've activated it. See, it's like glowing green. Like, I think it, I need to drain that water on that mushroom, I just don't know how. Shine down. So wait, there was just like a fucking side path that went nowhere for no reason? Like, yeah, we went... I left the Sealy here just so I would know how to get the way back. I guess it was a shortcut. Hold up, what's up here? You're not going to reward me for taking that little... Okay. <laughs> Alright, Kazu. Uh, just... Crispy, punchy, raccoon... John Carnage. <laughs> it's a good Twitch auto-naming thing. POV, you are consumed with a new world quest. Oh, these sea leaves are heavily involved with bringing down this uh, wall. Okay. Yep. So there's two objectives here. Hit the stone, but also... Escort these sea leaves safely. Be back, Sealy fella. The wind knows me. One with nature. I'm half tempted to like ascend Kale, but I don't think I even have the parts needed to do it. Solidify. Illusion shattered. And I'd be annoyed if I used Ascension Materials that would be used for... 
fajita later on. Let's uh, let's take a look at what she would need. Oh wait, she's already ascended. So it would just be books. How many books do I have? 2,400? I think I could part with a couple. To make her a little less squishy. Hmm. Alright, what would she need to ascend? Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'd be using these mushrooms. I'd have to go and farm them. Two of my 94 beaks, three of my 63 fragments. I I'm going to hold off. She's got a little more hit points. I would just need to put some artifacts on her, maybe to get her the higher HP base, but... I don't even think I want to do that. She took 3,000 damage, so I'll be able to take one hit from now on. Before realizing, oh shit, I don't have a shield. Let's switch her out. Because I'm not using her for damage or anything like that. Hold up. Following the... Seely is one thing, but last time there was a shortcut. Yeah. That led to the actual objective. Gather. Oh, watch out! Monsters incoming! So it was just monsters? Okay. Nothing in here. Follow the wind. Shield Kale. Illusion shattered. Quick it. Bring him in. Yeah, that aggravate is no joke. I have a feeling once um, Nahida is in the party doing some crazy damage. Uh, the only thing is, man, yeah, I'm going to miss healing. And the attack buff. But if the aggravate is that good, then the attack buff might not even be needed. Gotta be a bug. Did something just hide itself inside the stone? What? It's empty! Oh. I pressed the wrong button. There it is. That's two of three. So the last one might be behind the wall that the Sealy unlocks. There is no escape. Dendro damage. Let's kill it. Oh, right. That's not been it. Yeesh. I've never had to activate something a second time after using it as, like, an item. So I'm still getting used to the... That prospect... Well, you see, she didn't die in one hit. Woodland Guide. Oh, that's something completely unrelated. Uh, so now there should be a third tunnel or th third switch for this flower in here, maybe? 
Hey, third Sealy. Oh. I would have missed that. Shine down. One with nature. Um, yeah, I definitely wouldn't have gone in here. Oh, this is the exit. Okay. Solidify. Illusion shattered. Yeah, see, seeing the damage that I'm already getting from Kale, and she is not strong. Uh, for perspective, let's see, attack is 19, 18, 106. And yet that aggravate re reaction was like 5,000 something from her shooting the bow. Hmm. I can break the stone. Do it. I keep thinking about switching away and not having Kale on the team at the moment, but um, I keep needing to do these Dendro totems. Oh, now I'm switching away. Yeah, try. Right. One more. Let's light it up. Illusion shot. Teamwork is dreamwork. Order guide you. Clouds high. The birds call. One with nature. Numbers. So many numbers. Oh man. No more numbers. Oh, I thought that was a door, but it's just a wall. Oh, we're under... Wow, we're actually underneath that, um... That musical thing that I marked on the map. Because I, I marked it with a little, uh, star bit. And it's, like, right above us on the mini-map. Ah, see them with this way. Okay. Hmm. Well, at the very least, um, the load times are making switching between characters not painful. Just slightly annoying. One man stole is another man's gem. So now we can zip up there. It's getting more human in here. Is it because the seal's gone? Hope you didn't have any more dialogue. Aragaru just needs to talk to the barsom flower, right? Shh, shh quiet, don't wake him. Aragaru uh, whispers to the barsom flower for a while. The barsom flower has, was woken up from his dream by us. He is very angry. Eh? But if it's Arahoma, then I suppose we can be forgiven. Barsom flower, Barsom flower. For Arahoma. For Matima's revival. Please join us. Huh? Uh, eh? What are you doing, Paimon? Can you understand them? Paimon can't hear anything. Great! The Barsom flower agreed to adventure with us. Yay, we got the Barsom flower! Hmm, and... 
The parson flower said, be careful with our heads. What does that mean? Protect our heads and roots, or damage will be caused when water comes. Eh, wait, what is that sound? Watch out! Oh, I thought I was actually gonna have to do like a quick time event or like dodge out of the way of like falling rocks and water. Oh. You and Paimon together with Aragaru are swept away by a sudden current. So cold, so moist, so noisy. <laughs> Why did so much water gush out? Palma, Paimon almost got drowned. So moist. Because the realm of Cobb is the Barsom Flower's dream. When the Barsom Flower wakes up, the dream will disperse into the air. So the weight of the water can't be withstood, and water will gush out. Woo, splash, cool and refreshing. <laughs> Let's see if you could still stay the same if Paimon was washed away and never found back. <laughs> Aragaru knows where Nara and White Floaty are. Plants can also tell me where you've gone. You'll be found. We have the Barsom Flower now. So next is to find the Zora Mushroom in the Yajna grass before we can ask Aragna to make the Arahama. Uh, we have the Barsom Flower. About Aragna. Aranaga. Aranaga is the eldest and most interesting of us three. <laughs> he can say a lot of funny things and he knows about Anara. But he also forgot a lot about Nara. The three of us also have lots of things we can't remember. Some are scattered like pollen in the breeze, and some are blurred. But Aranaga usually knows and remembers the most. That's why we like playing with the Aranaga. He's doing the dance. Look at him go. Aranaga is right in the gardens of the Matima forest. Watching over Matima. You'll definitely find him if you go there. Next, I'm going to the Matima Forest, too, to prepare for the Amhoma for, 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 for... Let's meet up there. Matiima. Matiima. Arahoma. Matiima. 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 I'm hearing this crane right in our grill. Let's meet there, too. So moist. Okay, well... Um... Uh... Is there more up? There? Tell me there's zip points. Oh, there is over there. Good. Wait, there's also a thing I can bust open. Well, I'm about to bust. Got yeah, a feeling. All right. Steel stopper. Uh, yeah, and the uh, thing is up there. We didn't get his song, I don't think. Maybe we did? Let's actually see. Come on. That's what I like to see. I like looking around and seeing, hey, you can zip up here. Time to go to work. Stabilize. Time to go to work. The wind knows me. There is no escape. Time to die. <laughs> what? We're, we're gonna we're gonna die. I don't remember killing a third person, so... Okay, do I have what is required here? Wait. Wrong thing.
Not yet mastered. This is not the right one. Alright, uh... So wait, what's next here? The final chapter. Still on the not r and &R quest, but it's giving like 50 Primo Gems per completion. I feel like it is tied to it in some way. But the weird thing is I came across this quest like randomly. Hang on, I'm curious about this. You can jump him in the air. Shine down into the wind. I guess not. Oh, there you go. I want to hit all these things. I wouldn't doubt if you need to do these, especially since I've already gotten um, a song. I got the song that repairs a uh, little dendro pillar things. Yeah, look, 8,000 damage. She can't do 8,000 damage. That's not her doing that. Let's see how much damage she does on her own. I'll even try to crit. Yeah, 76. But then, um... Illusion shattered. Yeah. Just the Dendro react reaction is enough to do crazy damage. And all the more valuable for it. Now I did warp close to where I needed to go, right? Okay. I just got distracted heavily. Oh no, don't stop. Yeah, no stop. Stop, stop, stop. There's a thing again. Okay, hold on. This is, this is going to test a, a theory here, because that thing is also underwater. Wait, these are already activated. Maybe I already did it. Like, maybe hitting all those raise the water or something. Shit. Alright. Down we go. But I will activate this just in case it gives me a, a zip point to use later. Well. That's handy. Um... That is not activated, however. I don't like the sounds of swamp. Oh shit, just ran out. There's always a frog. Just off screen. Making noise. There is no escape! Stabilize! Okay, that guy just self-destructed by hitting me. Okay, you're doing something right now. What are you doing? Oh. Okay. I keep getting distracted by pieces of candy. Oh, 
with her, I don't even need to charge down all the way. I thought for a split second that I could only see those slimes as a reflection. But then it was not. That was not what happened. Alright, the most interesting of the three, they said. Gordon Nara. Yep, that's right. Nara Chrono and the floaty whitey floaty. White. What? Not whitey, no. Hello. Aranaga, I am. Been waiting here for a long time, I have. We've also been looking for you for a long time, little bean. Aranaga, I am. Little bean, I am not. Soft, fluffy, white mushroom floaty. Soft and fluffy, white mushroom? What? Are you talking about Paimon? Paimon silhouette does resemble a mushroom. Little bean is right. Paimon is indeed soft and fluffy. Do I just annoy both of them? <laughs> it's weird to hear you say that. It's not Little Bean, it's Aranaga. Golden Melon Nara is doofus Nara. Likes to be bad. <laughs> I'm Chrono. And Paimon is Paimon, hello. Um, Aramango? What can we do for you? It's Aranaga. My friends Nara and Chrono must have met. They are the ones who led you here, correct? Doofus Nara. <laughs> Yes, we met your two little friends. They said we could meet you here. Welcome to the Matiyama Forest. Matiyama. See if it was Matiyama. I could pronounce it, but it's Matiyama. T y t y t y t y t y. Matiyama Forest. My garden. This is many flora friends. Mushroom friends here. Here they love. Because it's here, Matiyama protects us. Protects the forest. Matiyama. Why are you saying that? After so can gather with friends, help friends thrive, Aranaga. But need help we. Oh, he's doing a Yoda thing. Can give help, Nara Chrono. So what do you want us to help with? Chase away fungi for you? Rejuvenate the soil for you? Yes, yes, correct you are, Nara Chrono. Turning into a dull color, Matayima is very sad. But you guys can definitely help, she said. So I waited for you here. Morty, me, amore, mamma mia! <laughs> Morty, me, amore, mamma mia! Why couldn't they have this voice actor? That would have been funny. Uh, however you pronounce it, what is it? It's what Nara Varuna left behind, gathering the elements and nutrients to feed the forest. Matiyama. She's having trouble with that word, though. Mamma mia! <laughs> During the first moon, made the fungi come to life. Matiyima, during the second moon, the branches woke up. On the ground, the moon cast shadows, shadows with the chattering leaves. During the third moon, startled lazy flowers from sleep, Matiyima. They blossomed one by one, lively and rambunctious, said the long-lived trees. But after many, many moons, Marana came out of the moon shadows and devoured Matiyima. They came too, the walking shroomkin, not afraid of Marana, but very frightening. Huh, Pilot is getting more and more confused. Because White Floaty is silly. Hey, why are you? All, why are all of you like this? Oh, you should have kusava already. Don't eat it. It's for waking mushrooms and vines, the kusava. When mushrooms and vines wake up, they will carry everyone higher so that you can find the yajna grass. Yammering grass? What's that? It's yajna. It's destined to turn into arahoma. Very cute and pitiful. Over there, it's home is. I point it to you. I take you see. I take you to see. Um, find it, and then what do we do? Make it and its other two friends into Arahuma. Arum. Arahauma. Hauma. 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 Arahauma. They open the pass. Puzz? A vines. <laughs> pass? Puzz? A vines? That leads to Mataima. Use Arahauma. You mean path? Yes, Nara call it flat stripe with no grass a path. Nara don't like plants. Ara Nara like plants, but the meaning's same. Only this way will Marana recede, Matayima said. Everyone is also urging me, flowers and trees. Why us? Golden Nara, very much like Nara Varuna. Save the forest, save us, must be. Should be able to. For some reason that last pause really annoys... And really annoys Paimon. Aranara trusts you, so please trust Aranaga as well. 
Let Aranaga bring you there. Well, by the looks of your eagerness, it seems like something very serious. Serious, yes. Be ahead of the moon, not behind. What's this about being behind the moon now? You meant time's running out. I'll take you to the Yajna grass. Yeesh, these fucking words. In the ancient language, trees and plants language, the meaning of Yajna grass was the falling petals. The Yajna grass was born to fall away because falling is fulfillment, not death. What do you mean by fulfillment? I'm not walking while reading this. Well, in Nara language, fulfillment and death are the same, but fulfillment inspires life. It is a happy death. What? You're saying some really scary stuff. Eh, might not understand it now, but we'll understand in time, white floaty. Alright, let's get up there. Wait a minute. I almost missed that Dendroculus because I was eager to move forward. Alright. That crane's right next to it. And it's sealed. What would you... Who would have thought? Here it is. The Yajna grass. It's protected. The Yajna grass. Unseal it, and then we can talk to the Yajna grass. Yeah. Oh, I can't zip to these in the, the water. I thought I could, but that was... Not true. Well, I have to go that way. It seems. Oh. There's three different ways I need to go, actually. Wait a minute. Oh! It's for this quest! Holy shit. I, that thing I ran into earlier it was actually for this quest. It raises it out of the water. I had a feeling. I thought it would just unlock kind of like on the surface. Well, that, that's an easy one. I guess I did the preemptive work by clearing the area of these things. Uh, oh, okay. Not sure why this stuff is here, but I'm. Oh, I killed him earlier. I must have. Okay. Um, this is not where I came from. I came from over here, right? Okay, back this way. Well, I almost fell. Um, wait a minute. Oh, son of a bitch. Stabilize. The wind knows me. Okay, the Rhythm of Revival. Aranakin's Song. Okay. Thank you, Green Amber. Now, let's see. Um, next one is this way? Yep. Gather. Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, I don't have Bennett on me. Quite annoying. Is he giving me a... Like, warning that the freeze is coming? I got something else making that noise. Is it the bloom, perhaps? I don't know. It's important to replenish your supplies often when you're I already heard that one. Um, bloom being made. Oh, Kali died during that little conflict. How? Couldn't tell you. I really couldn't tell you. I guess I'm using these eggs finally. Alright, where's one of those mini sweet madame? Let's use one of the spooky madames at her. Okay, so now we use that. All right, one more. Oops. One of these guys. Illusion shattered into the wind. No. Okay. So it's from over there. I think it was heading up. It might be heading up there. Yep. Yep. Well, I know how to get to it. I went to it many times. Ah, in my youth, I traveled to this mushroom not knowing what it was. And now that there's some hilly churls running around doing things. <laughs> ah! Shine down! Okay. Uh. There was nothing to help me get there, so I just I'll kazooie my way to it. Hey, right. well, it's funny how I um was angrily trying to figure this out earlier. <laughs> Turns out you just it was story related. If I had just looked at been able to look it up properly and just known what these things is called Kusaba and Aranaga. Yeah, it's If I knew what these stone tablets were called, then I would have been able to search it and find out, oh, it's part of this R and R quest. And I would have just left it. The Yajna grass is right there. Excuse me, please. Let me say a few words with the Yajna grass. Though it's the Garden of Aranaga, there is only one Yajna grass here. There were many once, whenever the moon rose or fell, a Yajna grass would grow. But it came, Marana, in the wake of Marana. Walking Shroomkin came, eight and eight, died, many Yajna grass, leaving just this one. Then what are you guys going to do after we use this yammering grass to make our Arahoma? It's the Yajna grass, white mushroom silly. 
But no need to worry. The important seeds are kept safe by... <sighs> Jamika Yamars. Jamika Yamars. The gate to Matayima. Jamika Yamars is guarding. Paimon sees. Doesn't Aranaga still need to catch up on the old times with Yazagras? There's no time to lose. Let's take the Yazagras away. Uh, with the Yazagras? Aranaga whispers to the plant for a while. Willing to become our Homa, he said. And thank you. Next, let's go to Jamika Yamars together. Then lead the way, little bean. Little bean not. Aranaga. Floaty is mean. Okay, okay. Paimon is not mean. You do keep calling him things he doesn't want to be called. Like uh, emergency rations, for instance. Uh, give me one sec. Keep your back. Okay. Mike is done being crazy. Um, I get the achievement. The Bitter Fruit of Dreams. Use Kusava for the first time. Okay. Wait, there's another one? Ah! Follow a total of 20 sea leaders of sea courts in Sumeru. Over here, Jamaki Omar's is a... Is a, is a, is a. Nara Varuna's memory cup grows here, so the name is Jamaki Omar's. Jamaki Omar's is guarding Matayima, so I cannot enter. Those bad guys. But where is the Marana you spoke of is... What? But where the Marana you spoke of is... Talking in this way as well, Paimon is. Hey, that's none of your business! Matayima has been infiltrated by Marana, so we must infuse Arahoma into the Chakyamars. He will open the path for us. Once Chakyamars remembers it all, then we can go in and rescue Matayima. What is it, Arahoma? What is it, Arahoma? <laughs> the essence of memory, messenger that drives away death. The elixir Arahoma is... Arahoma. Carries our memories, carries our life, the elixir Arahoma. To make our home, uh, three types of plants are required. Yajna grass and its friends. Barsum flower and Zora mushroom. Ara homo? <laughs> it seems to be under the moonlight. With the precious memories, refine them so that the potion can be complete. After our home is offered, Jamagumars will awaken. And then our memory will flow out, flow into the forest. 
Matayima will be saved. About the memory. Our language, I don't know how to use. Memory, dead, frozen, many Nara believe. Memory will be lost, many Nara believe. But it is alive, flowing, not lost. It needs to be nourished. There are dreams because there is memory. Memory is nourished, so there is life. So it can grow, the thing to repel Marana. Oh, that's... What's that Nara word? I'm stuck. Don't know how to say it. Courage? Hope? Wisdom? Wisdom. Flowing memory. Wisdom. Stagnant wisdom. Marana's lair. So living memory gives birth to a living wisdom, and dead Marana will dissipate. Narana Varuna said that the dead cannot defeat the living. But first, we must have our Homa to wake Jamaica Mars and to make our Homa. We need Barsom Flower and the Zora Mushroom. They've already been gathered. Nara Krona, exactly the same as Nara Varuna. And Golden, too. Thank you. Varuna, I believe it's got to be our brother. Please come back when the moon rises over the tallest tree. The ritual to obtain our Homa will begin then. Wait until the moon hangs high in the sky. Was it 2300? Yeah, fuck it. Hey! Aranaga, she's here! They're here! All of a sudden, they're making noises while moving. Yeah, here, here! Here you are, Nara Chrono, White Floaty. Welcome you, the three of us! Welcome! Our home ritual is about to begin. What are we waiting for? Yeah, aren't you guys really anxious to hold the that ritual? Still wait for a little bit. We can. Grateful, we are. So, as is customary for Nara, precious gifts we will give you. Uh, gifts? Precious gifts? Yes, indeed, gifts. Precious gifts. Oh! Don't get too excited, Paimon. Paimon, it might not be what you think. Our gifts are the most precious. They have life compared to dead things. Living things are more worth protecting. See, Aranaga, Aranaga said it. The most precious gifts... Helped us save the forest, Star Krona. We are grateful, so I give you this. Uh, what is this? It's a living memory, a remembrance, Star calls it. Creatures that forget easily, Nara are. So must remember, use things that, that, that have life. Here, Aranaga's remembrance is this flower. Cannot blow him away. The o Ad Oblivion. Cannot destroy him. The device that takes away dreams. Ad Oblivion? The thing that takes away dreams? Living memory of nature, dream, man-made dead thing, mechanism. Take away living memory, grinding and crushing to extract its juice like a grinder for dominion and domestication. Don't like this, Aranara. Uh, why? Because the Garden of Freedom, the source of power, dreams and memories, not only for Aranara, but also for Nara. But Nara don't know. Not good action. Extraction. Grinding. Memories and dreams are gone. Reason for action is gone. Strength is also gone. Hmm, Paimo doesn't get it. White Floaty's silly, but silly is only for now. White Floaty will know, in future. And me! Here's my flower! When you leave the forest and go back to the place of full sand, please don't forget us. Like this flower. We won't forget. You can't forget us, either. Aranaga. What's the matter? Are you upset? No, no, I'm very happy. We won't forget you all. Even if we do, you will remind us, right? Yeah! Uh... I'll give you my flower, too. Please accept it. Wow, thank you. I wanted to give you my meaty bugs, but Aranaga said Nara don't like eating these, so I gave you a flower, too. It's okay. Flowers are great. <laughs> it's here. The moon is here. The moment when that moon is high up in the sky. It's high moon. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. I want to. So... Aranakin, Aragaru, let's start the ritual. <laughs> come, come, dreams of the garden, memories of the forest. Come, come, wind that doesn't return, water that doesn't flow backwards. Come, come, sweet dreams and bitter aftertastes. Come on, you can't say come, come, and then bitter aftertastes. 
Come on. Farewell, let us say. Old leaves, swollen fruit. God damn it, now my mind's in a different place. Drifted dreams, fallen flowers. Wait, let us. Season of rain returns, planet rejoice. The pomegranate sings, the apples clap. <laughs> like the peach claps. <laughs> <laughs> oh god stop you degenerate <laughs> our haroma our Naga's flower our Anakin's flower anything to say? oh look the potion is ready shh don't disturb them oh vanished we are is here, Arahoma. Please take good care of her. Next, we will go after offer the potion to Jamiroqua. Jamiqua Mars. <laughs> Please take good care of her. Save our dream together. Garden together. Matayima's dream. Yep, Aragaru wants to say the same. Um... Here for some reason. This is the place, Nara Chrono. Please offer our Homa over there. Offer it up. Look, has accepted you, Jamikia Mars. Whoa. We going into a dream? No, it's just loading. The new mushroom is now loaded in. Whoa, what's going on? Crota, be careful. Are you okay? That was sudden. Yeah. Okay, next. Um, into the Morty area, right? It's Matiyima. <laughs> Matiyima. How do you actually remember this name? <laughs> Yes, yes, go in. Fight Marana. Together, let us. New life. Memory nourishes. Death is just one time loss of memory. So, our sacrifice. Please witness. Please keep it in your memories and dreams. Eh? Let's talk about this when we've solved the problem. Okay, don't keep Matahima waiting too long. Everyone's worried. Yeah, let's go and defeat Marana together. Maybe I should have said we will, to not make him sad. Kusava, another one. Oh, it's a new one. Reach Matayima. We're going to start with four withering. Oh no, it looks super bad here, but Paimon believes in you, Chrono. So there's nothing to be afraid of yet. Oh, being near this thing is keeping me from withering. Is that what I'm seeing? Wait. Oh, weird. It like was there and then it went away. Oh shit. The essence of memory is the power of Kusava. Only with these can we defeat Marana. Yes, let's use the Kusava right now. Kusava! Uh, you finally get to go on an adventure with Aranaga, Aranakin, and Ar Aragaru. Use the Kusava at appropriate places to call upon the powers of the three Aranara. By switching the abilities of the Kusava, you can choose the Aranara who's helpful, whose help you need. Delve deeper into Matiima alongside your RNR friends. Every journey has its final day. Don't rush. Okay. Oh. Right trigger to switch. Why not just do it automatically? Though. Why not just have 
summon all three, and they all th three do the thing at once. That's fine. It says, let's see if being around the Sealy will help with the uh, corruption. Uh, this one's going to be a toughie. Gather. One with nature. Okay, I need this thing, which needs to be activated by doing this. I suppose I could do that and just switch between all of them, which is what I'm going to be doing. Like this. I'll just pull it out. Boom, boom, boom. Marana here has dissipated. Oh. He didn't come with me. What the fuck? Oh, you're doing that now. Okay, this is kind of the reason I'm streaming the game. For these, uh world quest with no voice acting. There's some interesting visuals that won't come up again. Ow. Unsolicited. And all the more valuable for it. I had 30 seconds to get there. I don't know why. Donk. Wait for it to get there. There is no escape. The wind knows me. Need to activate this one now. Hide behind this tree. So, uh, X, switch, X, switch, X. Um. Sorry, he was he wasn't the one that raised it out of the water. The one with the bow tie raised it out of the water. Okay. Well. Morana defeated. Plants will grow back again very quickly. Alright, lead me to the next one, bud. Use this for cover for now. Stabilize. Illusion shot. Illusion shot. Into the wind. Wait, where's another enemy? You. 
allies. There is no escape. Into the wind. Okay. That almost didn't get that because he was hiding behind a fucking wall. Okay, I haven't needed Dendro in a bit. I've had these Dendragon or whatever, but I haven't actually needed the Dendro. Solidify. The wind knows. Okay, so let's heal that up. Okay. Gather. Illusion shattered. One with nature. Time to go. Not for Zhongli shield and just getting pelted over here. Yeah, that's fair. I think the gods that that's uh ongoing. Whoa! Jesus fucking Christ, man. I can't sit around for like a second to do this. Always be sprinting. Always be fucking moving. Solidify. Alright, should put him back in his little sealy hole, right? These orbs track a little bit too. Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? Go and clear the last withering zone. Well. <laughs> Let's do something real quick. Before we Ow. Okay. Time to go. There is no escape. Stabilize. This is order. Now oh, that's locked. As one with wind and cloud. The wind knows me. Now you shall perish. Shine down. Gather. Let's light it up. Everybody stand back. Clouds high. The birds call. Wasn't sure if there'd be a time limit attached to that. There might have been. Okay. Destroy? Destroy the tumor of withering. <clears throat> oh, it's grassy down here now. A fateful offering. See it. Let me let me get to it. Ah, fuck. Hmm. 
There we go. Oh, it must be way up there. Wait, is it up? Oh, it's down there. Under It was under this rock. Look at that. Talk to the Aranara. This one is up, though. Thank you, Nara. Golden Nara, for all that you've done. Thank you. Free of the burden of Morana, Matiima is. She is very happy, Matiima. Heh, <laughs> we just happened by passing by, so we lent a hand. That Morty Arena should be thanking you guys. Is that so? Hmm. That's right. What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. It's just, before we came here, the things we experienced together now seems like a fog, like clouds. Can't see them clearly. Need to remember. Hmm, is it because you're too tired? Please rest more. Spend more time in the sun and your head will clear up. Please rest more. Yeah, that's right. Let's go out together and bask in the sun more and our heads will be clear. Thanks, but still needs our company, Matiima. Hmm, because Matiima just woke up and got lots of stories to tell us. Matiima wants to share her dreams with us, so we can't leave yet. Paimon sees we just finished the important business and Paimon hasn't got the chance to get you get to know you better. It's okay. We still be friends as long as we remember you. As long as still remember you, we can. Yeah, as long as we remember. Here's a song so you don't forget me. Please remember this. Okay, we got it. Then if I forget you guys, I will remember you when I hear this song. Eh? Because new life, memory nourishes. Death is just loss of memory. So our sacrifice, please witness. Please keep it in your memories and dreams. You've said this before. Why do you look sad now? Please don't be sad. We're still going to play together at Festival Utsava. The memories we describe to you, the story we experience, we will definitely remain in dreams. Yeah, though Paimon can't help but feel a bit worried. It's okay. Matiima is used to it. The forest and the earth are used to it. In the soil, in the roots, our memories are. Yes, Marana makes others forget, but we defeated it. Our memories are forever. But you guys haven't said if you will forget us. Still needs us, Matiima. So, sorry, can't keep her waiting too long. Yeah, please give us some time. Matiima still needs to talk with us. Remember to come play with us, Golden Nar and White Floaty. The Jasmine's... Well, I didn't even get to read that entire achievement title. The Jasmine's Whisper. The Pomegranates are glad. Aranikin. Thank you. Don't forget to come see us. But we have to keep my team a company for now. So next time... Thank you, Nara, Chrono, and White Floaty. But now, needs us, Matima. Bang, bang, ha! Nara Chrono and White Floaty are mighty. Happy to adventure with you, thanks. Okay, so that's that quest. Cheesy crazy. So the one right here is the one that I left off on with, um, last time I streamed. Like, I, would, I needed to go... To acquire Beej and help Rana, you have to find and help Aranara and prepare for a festival Zava. After the Aranyaka from Arama, it could be used to document the stories about Aranara. Clues for the adventure. Yeah, I don't think what we did specifically was part of that quest line, but it was something that probably needed to be done at some point. The weird thing is it wasn't on the map. It was just, I went to this the first uh, statue of the seven in the region and there was a world quest just off to the side here 
where the Aramites were. And that started the whole quest. Uh, so I don't even know if I've made a dent or not. Transferring commodities back and forth. It's hard to say. Uh, so I'm going to stop for now, though. Uh, come back to this in a couple days, I guess. But in a couple days, the Archon quest will be back. Hmm. It's mechanic. Yeah, so, yeah, I guess I'll just have to finish this some other time, obviously, because this quest is huge and long and big and strong. But, uh, like this, for instance, this, um, this domain is locked until I do the R&R &R quest. Because it, it's literally locked away behind a song I don't have. Uh, so yeah, I'll have to come back to it. It's, just, it's weird because I'm, I'm trying to decide when the new update comes out, 3.1. I might finish the R&R &R quest before I do the Archon quest. That'll give Sapphire a chance to do the story quest, and I won't spoil it for her. And I can continue getting the things needed for uh, exploration. So next time I stream this, we'll probably be doing more Aranara stuff. Because there's a lot of it, and there's no voice acting, so my voice is just going to have to deal with that sort of thing. Anyway, I'm going to stop for now. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. I'll be back again soon. Bye-bye.